Hey, hey everyone, what is up? It is the British Runner here. Welcome to the stream. How are we all doing tonight? <sighs> so, yeah. I just got out of my job to realize that Callisto is out and is getting a lot of heat. What the hell happened? Well, I cag. I cag. Oh, fuck's sake. I cag it soon. Let's go to Callisto. A cag. Yeah. Like, mainly when I played the game first. When I first played the game, sort of thing, the combat is really buggy, essentially. Like, say for instance, um, you'll be hitting an enemy that you've locked onto by, like, literally, like, the game will lock you onto one enemy, and then other enemies will attack you, like, what do you call it, regardless if you're even locked onto them, essentially. So, you could get beat up by one enemy, be close to getting it fucking killed. And then, what do you call it, the other enemy will jump in and kill you, you know? That is annoying. Sometimes the dodge mechanic doesn't work, like you'll be moving to the left like this, and then, you know, the mechanic won't actually work at all. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, you know, like uh, the enemy will do a left swing, so I'll move to the... You know, I'll move to the right, or the left, whatever. And then he'll do a right swing, so I'll move to the right and I'll get hit. You know, it's ridiculous. Or like, say for instance, the enemy's about to hit me, but I swing my baton like this. And the game will detect that you hit the enemy, but it will also detect that the enemy hit you. So, there's little to none, like, improvisation, essentially, like with that whole thing. Like, the coding is terrible. The graphics on one part, yeah, sure enough, these graphics look nice, but when you see fire, it looks like something that spawned out of the PlayStation 3 era, which is ridiculous. I'm playing on console, so, yeah. Um, the game does have a bit of a stuttering issue. Yeah, it has been said, most it's m worse on the PC without any fixes or anything like that that the community comes up with. It is a stuttering mess on the console. It has its slight FPS issues, but it's not that bad. So, at least it's playable on console, but sadly for the, for the PC, it's not exactly very good, you know. We're getting vibes of Dead Space here every now and again. You know, I just love the fact that Glenn said that, what do you call it, this game isn't Dead Space, but yet it tries to be Dead Space. Especially with the shoot the tentacles. Which is funny, because every time you try to shoot the tentacles, you'll miss, and the enemy will upgrade itself straight in front of your eyes, making the diff making the combat a lot harder than it has to be. So, yeah. Hey Hammond, how's it going, dude? But yeah, anyway, let's uh, continue our descent into this, you know, quote-unquote survival horror game. You know, this just rings what I said about, uh, what do you call it, the actual thing. And also on top of that, yeah, I'm not even moving the right stick at this point, yeah? So we'll go back, yeah? Let's go back to the um, area I just came out of, yeah? And I'll show you one of the issues with the camera. The camera likes to be independent, essentially. So right now, I'm not even using the right stick, yeah? The right stick to look at everything. I'm not even looking at it. And sometimes the camera will just move independently on its own. Like that, for instance, it just moved by itself. I didn't do anything.
and also on top of that there has been no update to any to fix any of these issues let's see I'm trying to move to him and the camera keeps looking to the bloody right see I'm not even moving it I'll move it back yeah and guess what it'll do it'll move straight back to where it was supposed to be it's ridiculous Look at that fucking FPS issue right there. Yeah, the infected are kind of boring. With the necromorphs, you at least had some variety and all that stuff in how they looked. These enemies just look the same. Fuck me, you can see the start ring right now. It's not even, it's not even 60 frames. Um, also, there are invisible enemies as well, which is funny. And also, healing takes like five seconds to deal with. Come on, big boy, come and get me. pushing the attack button at this point. Like, see, I'm, I'm gonna heal. Look how long that takes. That is ridiculous. Come here, you son of a bitch. Oh, he's gone invisible again. Look at that. That's uh, so interesting. How does that work, Glenn? Oh, 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 oh it works because it works, you know, like. The game said so, so it works. So you just hit it, and the game just said, no, nope, you didn't. And also, sometimes you'll be able to heal straight away, other times you won't. <coughs> oh, there's more of them now, great. I'm playing on medium difficulty. Come here, you bastard. Hit and run me, you little shits. At least they're not that tough to be. Fuck off. Um, apparently this game doesn't have new game plus either. Low graphics again, look at that. You can see the freaking pixels. Why did it just turn into a glossy texture all of a sudden? Look, from a distance it looked high graphical fidelity and then all of a sudden it's not high graphical fidelity. Oh no, not another jump scare. Sealed. 
beginning pressure check. It won't until next year from what I read. Oh my god, seriously, they're just gonna leave this shit like this until the following year? Fuck me, Glenn. Master of Horror and uh, Master of fucking giving us bullshit fucking mechanics to deal with. They have this shit in Dead Space, man, and they still haven't learned from their fucking lessons. Oh, let's just make the game look um, good and all that stuff, but let's make the mechanics really terrible. Oh my god, stop moving to... Why are you moving like this? Why? Why? Why are you doing this? See? See what I'm saying? I'm not even moving the right stick, and it just wants to go that way. Fuck me, it's like a jam stabilizer in a fucking aircraft. It just wants to go in one direction, not any other direction. Oh no! I was wondering when this part of the trailer was going to happen. Is there actually anything for me to avoid? Oh, there is. Oh god. Ow. At least it's not an insta-kill. This is an awesome water slide, I'm not going to lie. Ah! What? What the actual hell? I didn't get hit by it. I didn't get hit. I missed it. But the game said I did get hit by it. That's, that is ridiculous, man. That is ridiculous. I did not get hit by that. Yeah, there's no new game plus, so basically anything that you don't upgrade, you can't fully upgrade. Like, say for instance, the assault rifle that apparently you get in the last act of the game. Ah! Uh. Oh god. Ow, what the hell? I didn't even hit it! Jump scare. We totally didn't see that coming. Fuck me, the FPS is just all over the place with this game, isn't it? Jesus. We didn't have this shit in Dead Space 1. Why is it that we didn't have FPS issues in Dead Space 1, but we're getting them now in Callisto Protocol? Definitely not fucking outdone yourself. Your first horror game was actually a lot better than this. Oh great, I don't have any health syringes or whatever it's called, health injectors. Survive the pipe slide. Yeah. Okay. There we go, got a bit of health there. Thank god he actually gave you health for this point in time and also instead of semiconductors you get energy converters that like will either oh, I can't jump over this really stop moving up seriously 
That is annoying. That is something that is going to make me not want to play this game anymore. Fucking control of the camera is independent from what you want to do. You want to look over here? It's going to make you look to the right again and again and again. Okay, a health injector. Nice. Don't need it just yet. I'm going to keep it for now. And cannon ammo. Can I reload? Nope, because I got enough ammunition now. Didn't even ask you to equip it. See, once again, not a known death at all. It's like they just like, oh yeah, we want to show you the death animation so badly that we'll just cheat you out of a fucking, we'll cheat you out of like this. That's ridiculous, man. That is absolutely ridiculous. Stable FPS is part of the season pass. Yeah, it would seem so. Man, I still can't get over the season pass of this game. Oh, what's wrong with the season pass? Is it that whole death animation that everyone's crying about? Because I'm not going to lie. I don't think death animations are going to be a part of the season pass. I believe it's going to be what Glenn was going on about on Twitter. I believe it's more or less like like the Evil Within. There are going to be unique enemy types in the, the DLC. So... They're going to come with their own unique death animations. Oh, would you look at that? Another unknown death. Would, would you fucking look at that? Oh, Glenn. Glenn, 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 Glenn. When are you going to fucking learn how to be an actual game developer, mate? No, seriously, I want to know. Because Dead Space, with the first Dead Space, yeah, that he made, yeah, I'm going to compare his earlier work, like, at least that game was fair in its combat, you know? Shoot for the limbs, dodge the enemy attacks. Simples, you know? This game, oh no, no. Enemies just chime in whenever they feel like it. So no, 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 I'm not even gonna go up to you. I'm gonna wait for you to come to me. Come on, come over here. Oh, he just regrew his limbs. I wonder where I've seen that shit before. Oh, look at that. I hit him, but the game didn't register as a hit. So he didn't get staggered at all. Now we're going to use our health fucking syringe thing. That's a bit of a bullshit fucking thing. Oh, no health. What a fucking 
surprise, right? No, no, I don't have any health. I am is great. No, not really. I'm not having a lot of fun with this. Game was rushed out to beat Dead Space to the punch. As I said, this is the thing I was scared of. That's the scariest part. They rushed the game. Oh, hello. Suits. I wonder where I get my suit from. Maybe at the end of the game. Seems like it these days, eh? I won't get the good stuff until the end of the game. I wonder where I gotta take this now. take it anyway because there was a little area here. Why is my controller vibrating like a mother trucker just when I'm in a vent? Oh, it's because I'm moving, that's why. That's why my controller is vibrating. It's because I'm moving for a vent. Wow. This game's going to be surely popular with the women. Oh, I wonder why I'm not... Oh, yeah, but my controller vibrates whenever I interact with something as well. That's, that's hilarious. That is so fucking hilarious. There's nothing in here. No little secrets, no audio logs, no nothing. Just darkness, okay. Another water area. Yeah, we all know what that is, don't we? <coughs> oh, I didn't even drop anything. Wow, that sucks. Where the hell am I supposed to go? In here, maybe? Yep, in here. It's one of the positive things. Um, the setting is nice. Oh, come off here. I, that, there's no time to react to that. Come on. That is bullshit. Here at, here at, uh, here at Striking Distance, we, we, pre we pretend that we give a shit about horror. But no, we give a shit about jump scares. More about jump scares than actual horror. Same shit we saw with Visceral Game. Well, actually, no. Visceral Games actually tried to make horror games. This is just a jump scare fest. Same shit we see in horror movies these days. Oh, how quickly can we jump scare the player? Oh, 
I miss the necromorphs, yeah. At least with the necromorphs, yeah, that they actually serve the purpose in the world. These enemies, they don't really seem to serve much purpose. Other than just being jump scare after jump scare after jump scare. Oh, I've already come from this area, for fuck's sake. Thank you very much, Suit and Thunder, for the new subscription month, bro. Thank you very much. They made jump scares that were effective and made the player uneasy when everything was fine. Not really, it doesn't even make me feel uneasy, it just makes me feel like it's just a cheap joke. You know? When did Glenn, like, this is the thing, Glenn, when he was making Dead Space, actually said this shit in his interviews. Wasn't that something? Yeah, that looks beautiful. That's a positive for the game. The freaking visual, the visuals for, like, you know, stuff that are, like, far away from you are actually beautiful. The skybox is amazing. Oh, look at that, we're in the hydroponics area. Oh, the farm. But, yeah, like, what do you call it? Copy. There's some areas in the game where it's like, the, the music will uh, play quicker than the actual thing will. Sorry, I need to pause for a sec. Like, there are some areas for the audio, for instance, some of the areas, the audio plays first, which indicates, oh, something's about to happen. You know? Like, seriously. Like, it's like this sort of thing. In my first part, I was about to go into this red room, essentially, where all these corpses are littered and hung up and strung up, essentially. But, um, what do you call it? The thing, the thing was, is that the music played first when it wasn't, it didn't go on beat when I saw the Red Room, where I saw, you know, um, the main character, I can't remember his name because, you know, this game has fuck all character development or backstory logs or anything like that. So... What do you call it? When he was like coughing and snorting because of the fucking, the smell of death hitting him, essentially. Like, the music had already played like the shock music, you know, sort of thing. That music beat that you get when you are shocked at something that you've just seen, like something horrific or something disturbing. You know, it already played before I even opened the door. So it's like, what the hell? The music is delayed, or it's the the gameplay is delayed compared to the music. That's right, you dumbass robot. Keep on going the other direction. Don't worry about little old me. See, there's a little bit of story elements in this game. It's just not as, you know... It's like, it's not really um, as plentiful as it is in Dead Space. Like, in Dead Space, they actually give you a crap ton of logs to read through and to listen to. Um, 
But in this game, it's all just play for its holograms that you come across, or like cells that you cut out of people's heads, essentially, to um, hear what their last moments were. All right, let's see if I can upgrade anything. Make a selection. No, of course I can't. Because this game is very scarce on credits. I haven't got a hope to actually upgrade everything. If anyone's saying that the game is actually a good sort of thing, they're delusional. If anyone says that the game's better than the original Dead Space, they're delusional. Oh, come the fuck on, really? I didn't even have time to react to this shit. And I have a fucking jump scare. Oh, a box, lovely. I wonder if there's going to be an enemy hiding inside of one of these boxes. Nice. Oh, he's already facing me. into the thing. That's all good. You know, I was kind of hoping for, like, you know, that deep exploration of, you know, lore, essentially. But I guess the most amount of lore we'll find out about this game is going to be in the helix stick. Get the fuck off, man. I guess the most amount of lore we're going to find out about this game is going to be in the, uh... Oh, of course, I'm dead again! Look at that! Fucking hell, man. How many deaths have I had this time? Uh, it's getting close to 100. <sighs> this combat's terrible. And also the guns don't exactly feel like they do much damage. They feel like you're just shooting plastic bullets at them at this point. It doesn't feel like you're actually shooting wet. Oh, wow. And the, the checkpoints in this game are fucking god awful. To the point where you enter the room and now I have to go back and sell everything once again. Are we getting deja vu? Any, anyone getting deja vu? That's the thing, that is annoying. Like, you, uh, what do you call it? You die in this area now. You have to go all the way back to the point where you, um, what do you call it? Before you even sold or upgraded anything. So you have to go and do it all over again. That is boring. No wonder they called this game, oh, it's gonna be, be you can beat it in 12 hours. It's like, yeah, because I've littered it through checkpoints that make you replay everything that you just went through again and again. No wonder this game takes so long to beat. Nice. I guarantee if you start speedrunning this game, you'll be able to beat it in under two hours. Guarantee it. I mean, hell, like, one of the people that do the, uh, what do you call it? Okay, fine. Oh, of course, I didn't get a fucking chance to attack this, did I? What even is that? No, I want to pick this up first. 
Skunk gun schematic. Fuck's sake, man, really? Oh, what, what button is it again? Oh, it's the fucking up pad. I don't need that so much. Well, at least we're going to get a new gun soon, hopefully. Hopefully you can get it at the upgrade bench or the laser weaponry thing. Grab him, grab... No, of course not. Fucking no. Can't grab him at all. That's fucking bullshit. Well done, Glenn. I have to say, Glenn, you are the master of horror. You are amazing at what you do. Are you fucking real? No wonder you made all those fucking videos saying like, oh, we're like the masters of horror. Nah, nah, mate. Outlast does a hell of a better job than you fuckers ever could. Now I have to sell everything again for the fucking third time. You would have thought, you would have thought they would have play tested this, but obviously they didn't give a shit. And there's no item there either. Wow. That's hilarious. If it was meant to be this insanely difficult sort of thing, I would understand. Like Dark Souls, for instance. Yeah, Dark Souls is a game that is, you know, designed to be extremely difficult. Thank you for your new subscription, nice. Jerome Taylor. But like, it is not intended to be a hard, difficult game to go through. Oh, and also every time that you go to a chest, it's completely randomized of what is going to be. Oh, you can't shoot through here? Oh, that is a load of crap, Glenn. Come on. Get your fucking ass in gear with this shit. There's no replayability to this game either because there's no freaking, what do you call it? There's no new game plus. No, what button? Oh, seriously? There's no new game plus or anything like that in this game. So, where there's going to be replayability is only going to be in the difficulty. You know, we're playing on medium at the moment. Oh, fuck off. Grab 25 enemies with the GRP, but I haven't grabbed 25 enemies. By your by your account, that would have been like this would have been the uh, 24th enemy. So what you really mean uh, achievement is use the GRP or the grip 25 times. At least we got past that part. At least you could save your game. Like right here, I could save my game. So, you know, I've just created myself a new checkpoint. That's probably why they put it in the game. Okay, thank God we, up we upload schematics here. Now, how do we get that gun? You give me the shotgun, baby. Let's go. Wait, did that overwrite my other weapon? Does that overwrite it? I hope it doesn't. I really hope it doesn't. Quick weapon swap menu. Yeah, because the quick weapon swap apparently is so quick, right? Let's see. Let's see how let's see how quick this is. I still got the same weapon out. What the hell? Oh, 
Oh, for God's sakes, really? I have to, I have to, instead of where it was in Dead Space where you just flick a button to actually literally swap the weapon, you have to go into the menu itself and then press the A button to swap a weapon. Seriously, Glenn, you want to tell me you're the master of horror, but you can't even implement simple fucking mechanics into your own game? Oh, where the fuck do I get that from? I thought I just got that from the other area. Guess not. It's a poor man's plasma car. Sakes, really? Oh, I moved out of the way, though. I, are you fucking real? Fuck off. Shit. Oh, look at that. I shot the tentacles. Does that mean he's going to stop transforming? Let's see. No, he's just dead already. Remember when we could actually just, you know, melee? Instead of just, you know, having to swap to the weapon to melee? Yeah, I miss those days. I miss those days. This game actually makes me miss Dead Space more and more as much as I, uh, more as I play it. No, you don't, you don't transform. At least the skunk shotgun is actually, it actually makes me feel like I'm actually shooting something. Hmm. I want to go in here first. Fuck me, this fog is ridiculously high. What even is that? Can I see what it is first before you tell me it's skunk ammo? Okay. So what do we got here? I got a health injector. I'm gonna use that then. Finally, I can pick it up. We need ammo like crazy in this game. Oh, great. I'm wondering if there's gonna be an enemy encounter in here. Damn, this fog is so shit. At least in the remake, you know, you're going to be able to push past the fog. It's actually going to move when you move through it. But in this game, it doesn't seem like you are going to be able to do that. What the fuck? Ah, oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. These little fuckers. Put the fucking thing in the thing. I don't want to have to deal with these little shits. They take so much health off here as well. That's ridiculous.
Yeah, that's how you get that's how you get stuff out of a uh, what do you call it? That's how you get audio logs these days. Right, had this one before. Yeah. Nice work, bruv. Pulling inside the station now. Only problem is I can't reach it. The walkway <coughs> The utility room across the way has access to the level below. See if you can reach the catwalk from there. And hurry. That storm's getting worse. Oh no, a little snow is gonna hurt us. I see you over there, you little shit stain. No, I'm not gonna waste my fucking ammo on you. Oh god, what the. Seriously? God's sakes, really? Oh yeah, the theory is collapsed, by the way. That's possibly what I meant by the collapsing area. Wonder where the robot went. Oh, get the fuck off. I guess I gotta go back in here then. Let's go back through here and see if there's another walkway. There is no map in this goddamn fucking area. Do I have a walk away from here, maybe? No. Didn't fucking think so. <sighs> the navigation in this game is just ridiculous. Like... Seriously, like... Where the fuck do I go? You know, like... It just says, oh yeah, find the access hatch. It's just like... 
yeah, thanks game. I appreciate telling me to find an access hatch, which could be either in this area or in the area across the way. So it could be back in this area. Get used to seeing your inventory as full. It seems to happen a lot these days when you have a full inventory because you have like, what, six slots in your inventory, which is dumb. At least in the original, when you're on your level one suit, you have like 12 slots in your inventory. I would assume I'm gonna have to go in here. Actually, you know what? You know what? First of all, save the game just in case I make... What do you call it? Make a blunder by going in here. Okay, where the hell do I go now? Okay, we're going back to the main area, I guess. Yeah. I would assume that would probably be Oh yeah, you get more inventory slots when you get a suit, it's just lame. But the trouble is, when the fuck do I get the suit? It's not like I get the suit at the end of the first chapter, right? Guess we just gotta go back here, aren't we? Utilities this way. Piss off. Yeah, that's right, you better run away. Utility. Oh, for God's sakes. Really? You can't even jump in this game? You could literally make that, but apparently, no, you're not allowed to jump in this game. Oxygen processing. I guess we're going back this way. Why can't you run? Why can't you run? Come on, run. No, I don't think we're going back this way at all. Why didn't they just put a map in the game? I don't understand that bullshit. Once again, once again, maybe this is Steve Papoops' way of saying, yeah, we don't need no maps. 
would be helpful to know where the fuck I need to go. Okay, apparently, if I was just to save my game now, it says reach the utility hatch. Yeah? Utility is over there. But there's no fucking way to utility. Oh, pfft. really? Are oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, really? Fucking hell. Well, the game just made me eat my fucking words, so. Yeah. No, I don't wanna go to the hatch just yet. Let's just explore this area first. What's behind door number one? Who is really in charge of making this game? Well, obviously Glenn Schofield is the, the head honcho, so I would assume him. But people are probably going to make excuses up for Mr. Glenn Schofield. I mean, they have three years to make this game. It's not like they didn't have enough time. Come on, you little bitch. Come and get me. Serera. Where is it, Kyle? Kyle Serera. Damn, my dad is loud. <laughs> Can hear him all the way from downstairs, coughing and splurting. Would have thought that would be coming from the game itself. <laughs> no such luck. Okay, on to the next area. Okay, I thought that was a breakable cabinet then. Is improving. Look for the fallen walkway. I probably won't use my thing on there. Anyone else getting some mega vent vibes?
shades. <sighs> Yummy. I guess that's why they call this place the meat processing plant. <laughs> You know when we had games that actually had environmental storytelling telling us why the fuck these ep things are even in the game? Yeah, I miss those days. I miss Anthony Johnston. And if he if he if Anthony Johnston actually made this with Glenn, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Because I know he could do better storytelling than this. Three years to construct the game and they didn't even put audio logs or whether well, they didn't even put logs or journals in the game. Just a few snippets of stuff. Where the hell is the exit? Can I jump on here? No. Can I jump on here? No. Ah, there's a little area here. Tiny little area. How does he even know where I'm here? I can't even see him. Jacob, I'm up here. Come on. Oh, he's up there. Okay. He's on top of the catwalk. That's how he can see me. Okay, never mind. Jacob, boy, over here. It's not as bad as it looks. Come up. You want me to climb that? It depends. Do you want to get off this rock? Yeah, that's a good point. Come on, it's dead easy. Just, uh, just don't look down, yeah? <sighs> what I say? You look like shit. Yeah, I look like shit, huh? I smell like it too because somebody forgot to mention that I'd be swimming in it. I told you it wouldn't be easy. What matters is that you made it, yeah? No, yeah, well, we both did. <coughs> Not quite yet. We're nearly there. Come on. Sure. <coughs> Hurry! Hurry! Come on. Well, let me guess. I'm not going to get there in time. Oh, never mind. The game actually surprised me, but something else is happening. Quick, get to the train station. Okay. Holy shit, bro! I think those things are changing. Fuck me, you can see the frames. Yeah, I think we need to get the hell out of here. Fuck me, it's so stuttery. What's with the suit? It's actually disorientating me how fucking stuttering this game is making. Or how stuttery the cutscenes are. That's the problem with the cutscenes on console. They're so fucking. The frames, mate. They're like 30 frames per second. It's actually making me feel ill. Or it's probably not even 30. Yeah, kind of. Well, you are, man. I'm close to the suit. Yay, I finally get a fucking suit. And it took us half the game to get here. No, no, no. Being dealt a shitty hand would be charging people £55 or over $60 for this game. And the game's not even close to being finished. Just to beat EA to the punch. That would be dealing a shit hand. We should blame everyone else. 
Then I realized this was on Sorry, I wanted to pause so I didn't interrupt the cutscene. I'll keep running from what you've done. Mind telling me what I've done? Oh, hello. I fucking knew I'd meet you again. I mean, why the evil within? What the fuck? His hand just went straight through the snow. Or the surface that I'm standing on. <sighs> Seriously? Did anyone else see that? His hand just morphed into the fucking... into the rock. Man, this game doesn't really feel like it was worth the amount of money I spent on it. This game feels like it was worth, like, what games were worth, like, what, two generations back? Back with the Xbox 360, like a 42.99 game? It doesn't even feel finished. It feels like we're playing in beta mode. I do like the environments though. Environments are cool. Although this is a moon, so I'm wondering why there is a weather system in the game, but I guess we'll never find out, right? I guess we just have to guess that they terraform the moon. Hey, at least we're outside, right? <laughs> yeah, Tal Volantis looks amazing. Oh, I mean, uh, Callisto looks amazing, yeah. Totally. Because if you look at the rocks, essentially, if you can see them, they do look reminiscent to Tal Volantis' rocks, especially in the trailers to Dead Space 3. Am I even going the right way? Oh my god. Seriously? Really? He's under the snow. And yet some people said that Dead Space looks like a pile of shit in his trailer. Yeah, so all these rocks reminds me of Dead Space 3 when we're going down to the down to Tower Volantis. That literally reminds me of that. I literally feel like they were trying to uh, make this game look like what Dead Space 3 should have been. I feel like, uh, what do you call it, the people that left... Um, can you not go to the right? I don't want to look at the right. Yes, the rocks are pretty, but I don't want to look at the rocks. Like, 
I just feel like the people that, what do you call it, um, joined uh, Strike at Distance, that came from Visceral Games, and other studios, they wanted to make Dead Space free, and they were consumed by it, by, you know, I don't really want to play Dead Space. I want to play something new, but this isn't new. This is the same shit, but in a different wrapper. At the end of the game. At the end of the day. More like not at the end of the game. <laughs> Fuck's sake. But yeah, it is beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. The visuals are beautiful if you can get over the, you know, the 2D fucking flames that we saw in the prison. And the smoke that doesn't move when you pass through it. technically get out. You're not even off the planet yet, or off the moon. Bro, you literally like met him like, what, a couple of hours ago and you were bitching and moaning about, you know, like, how much he was keeping out been off of you or something like that. Told him not to trust you. How did you find us? Emergency beacon. You're lucky I'm the one who picked it up. Well, you're too late. Not for what I need. Black iron like this back of his hand. Hey, what are you doing? Hey! Looking to escape. Now, thank you for the new subscriber, Vlad's view. Probably why Isaac was better off when he didn't talk <laughs> in Dead Space. Could you imagine if he started talking like, oh yeah, I need to find the beacon. I need to find the beacon. <laughs> He's going to drop something. No, didn't think so. It's kind of like an old penitentiary. Like, seriously. 
Oh, hello. Yeah, I know they have him talking the remake. I mean, in the old, in the original Dead Space, I think it was a better part that Glenn made him a mute character. Otherwise, we would have had dialogue like this for running throughout the entire game. Isaac just whispering to himself, you know, like I don't really think that would have been a good choice to make. Fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Oh shit. Oh really? Oh you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh come off it. Come this way. There you go, boom. I like how slow it takes you just to swap the weapons. Doesn't even heal you all the way. That's ridiculous. Guess that's the hangar over there. Oh, fuck off. I just hit you, you should stagger backwards. Oh, you, you really, you really hit me, didn't you? You really fucking hit me, didn't you? Gotta heal again. Every time I die, I gotta remember to heal. Because the checkpoint didn't fucking go off until I healed. Or until after I healed. Or well, before I hit with more like. Yeah. Oh my god, reload! No, can't reload. Oh, now it's fucking reloaded, right? <sighs> uh, 
nice snow. Alright, how the fuck am I gonna get past this area? Oh. I never squeeze through. This game literally is a turd. We'll got to squeeze through this little area, this little crack. Get it? <laughs> oh, another another area that we have to squeeze by. God, the cutscene's over. I never thought it, I never thought it would last. I never thought it would not be over. Finish. That's it. <laughs> okay, can I not go this way? Oh, I had to go forwards first. Sakes, another fucking jump scare. This game really does like to jump scare you, doesn't it? it seems that the jump, the uh, what do you call it? The uh, the shotgun is probably the only way to go, really. Listen to. It. Oh, I thought that might have been a new weapon, but no, it's just another canister. Who the hell said that? But, okay. Have you found anything yet? Come on, hurry! Before those things come back! Is there a way to open these? You know, like, is there a way? They're back. Come on, I know you're coming. Right now, 
Are you serial? You don't even get staggered when you hit? Fuck off, game. Fuck you, Glenn. You fucking useless developer. Fuck me. What a fucking joke. I wouldn't even give the game a seven. That's that's literally being generous. Hey, hey, you out there? Hey, uh, see if you can find something to pry this door open. Pry what that door open? Lead to the snowcat garage. I can get us inside. Like literally, what? What fucking... Where where are you talking from, dude? Seriously. The surround sound in this game is a bit weird, like... Found anything yet? Come on! Hurry! Before those things come back! I don't even know where he's calling me from. I'm not allowed to pick up the Atmo, am I? Why, I'm so there. No microtransactions. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Oh, fuck off! Just straight up. Oh, my God, seriously? Bitch, come and get me. You're not so tough now, are you? Like, seriously, where the fuck do I go now? This is one thing I hate games that don't give you, like, an, a hint as to where you need to go. I'm like, literally, I could save my game right now. Try to help the trapped worker. Really? That's my hint? Oh, finally, I get a fucking area that I get to explore now. Damn. Try to help the trapped worker, like, because there was literally anything outside that could have helped me. Key code required. God, love this, isn't we? Which door was that? 
There was no door that they was banging from. Only these things that were fucking banging on the door. just looked at things. Key code hint, the bridge over Schofield. Oh wow, really he named something after himself? Wow, that's that's egotistical, I'm not gonna lie. Schofield tools, anyone? <laughs> Schofield Ravine was constructed as part of the abandoned terraforming program, facilitating access to the Arcus landing pad. Now the hangar, the service tunnels were incorporated into the gatehouse complex and are still accessible. Okay. I just need to find a key card for it now. Unless that was the key card, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's unlocked now. Wait, is this law? Like, yeah, a little teensy wincy bit, like literally a sample. See you later, Camilla. Have a good one. And thank you very much. Oh, don't worry. I'll be making a review, a brutally honest review of the game as soon as I beat it. For next week's video. I'll be doing that. some actual audio logs. A new form of biophage capable of spontaneous combustion. Originally, I thought it might be native, but the morphology is clearly human. The subject was outfitted with a Mark I implant. Perhaps something that made its way up from Arcus? What I do know is the cold has changed. Nothing's been the same since Europa. He's up to something. No, don't have access to that yet. Okay, fine. Yeah, the biophages are parasites. That's the only thing we know about them so far. Is that they're all parasites. See that was a biophage dude.
Finally, though, we actually have a suit. It's really telling that this was Schofield's original Dead, Sp Dead Space pitch. The whole space jail idea. And the others in Redwood Visceral told him to change it to what became Dead Space. I don't think that at all, no. I believe that this was his original idea for a game, but then he quickly changed it to Dead Space. Because they originally were going to make a System Shock, get like a, sorry, a System Shock spiritual successor, but then they quickly changed it to Dead Space. Like, Rancid Moon, for instance, yeah, was Glenn's original idea for a video game, like one of his own creation. Is that the Exploder? Yes, it is. But yeah, if you look really carefully, like, there are some enemies that are just literally... You can just call them the same name as they were in Dead Space, because that's what they are. say hasn't got any unnerving um, music this music that's playing right now is kind of nice it's ambient it's what a lot of horror games do like to do they like to put ambient music in the background get the fuck off you fat bastard <laughs> you didn't drop anything, you cheap bastard. Health injector, nice. stairs okay I really doubt there's anything harmful about walking down a flight of stairs unless you trip and fall I guess but I don't think my character is going to trip and fall anytime soon get the fuck off well, at least I can use the health now Oh, wait a minute, the health is gone. What a fucking surprise. No, not this time, dickhead. Yeah, there is a lot of things that, what do you call it, Glenn writes in his video games that doesn't make any sense. Like, say for instance in Dead Space you had the you, you vape sort of uh, messages and all that shit in, in like uh, elevators and all that. And it's like, what the hell does that mean? Maybe this is why they said caution stairs, because these guys spawn from the stairs. Maybe. Well, that would be kind of silly to say. Hmm. Is there actually anything of interest here? Other than, you know, the clear corruption growing everywhere. Hmm, 
there's nothing here. I would like to see it a battle between OSHA inspectors and those things, whatever they're called, the biophages, yeah. Maybe that'll be in the DLC somewhere. Depending if this game ever fucking reaches the DLC. Judging from how bad the actual main game is. Guaranteed the DLC would be like, what, two chapters and that'll be enough? And it'll be like double the price of what Dead Space's DLC was. It's not exactly going to be very n nice to have to deal with. Once again, I have no idea where the fuck I'm supposed to be going. These areas don't exactly do anything for me. What am I supposed to do? Find a way through the tunnels. Wow, I would never have guessed that, Glenn. I would never have guessed. I, I would never have guessed that. I guess we go back down there because it's the only way forward I see. tell you go this way yeah and it just takes you to a dead end that's what was that no there's nothing here okay i thought i saw an opening somewhere hmm. reminder carry light Okay. It's got minimalistic lore aspects in this game. It's mostly environmental shit, you know. Similar to how Scorn told its story. Except from Scorn didn't exactly tell its story through environmental storytelling that much. Unless you class parasites and all that stuff. As storytelling. Do I jump up here? No. Is there anything up here? No. Other than that fucking spider looking thing over there. What's this? Fuck, man. Well, that did something. I can only tell you this way. Yeah, you go up the stairs and it just leads you straight to a dead end. Yeah, this way, apparently. Yeah, there's nothing in here. Nothing of freaking interest at all. Oh wow, really? This is an entire other area just around the corner and I just couldn't even fucking see it. No, no, no! That's what you get for being a prick. Pristine decoder. What the hell does a pristine decoder do? Components that can be sold. Okay. Probably not for that much, right? Probably just be another hundred credits.
Oh really, is this another dead end? Please don't be another dead end. Fuck me, this fuck is bright. Jesus. Oh, there's an area over here. Get out of here. Oh, come on, just fucking heal, would you please? They didn't heal me by that much. Oh, another heal. Dead Space had its flaws in combat as well, but. It's not like how it is like this. At least all you had to do was like aim, shoot, and all that stuff. In the original Dead Space, if you actually meleeed, the enemies would block your attacks. You know, showing that there is a little bit of intelligence hidden away inside those grotesque bodies. But in this game, oh no, 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 no nothing like that at all. <laughs> Hit the fucking thing. Stop dilly dallying around, man. Wow, that's the most amount of credits I've been able to pick up from a single thing. Come on, come over here, buddy. this yet. I guess there's more enemies I have to kill. Yep, I know I would be right. Oh, for God's sakes, man. Fine, we'll do this old-fashioned way. Oh, come off it, really? Of course, yeah, right. Why not? Heal. Heal. Fuck me, I feel like I'm talking to my dog at this point. Oh, I guess she wants my uh, help now, right? That's a bit convenient. She doesn't like me, but now she's willing to accept my help because, oh no, I, I'm trapped now. I need your help. Don't to see you again. Oh yeah, what's that? Huh? Did you left me out there to die? And you tried to kill me back on your ship. Guess that makes us even. I don't know if you noticed, but things have kind of gone to shit out there. Hey, you don't have to like me and I don't have to like you, but Elias was right. We don't stand a chance alone, but together we might just make it out of here alive. It's not about getting out of alive. Fine. If I can get that snow cap fixed, it'll get us to the hangar. You need to open the main gate. Control should be that way. How do I know I can trust you? Here, take this. You'll need it. Those things are everywhere. Name's Jacob, by the way. I know who you are. Hmm, yeah, they boarded us. 
Tap the D-pad left to quickly swap between equipped weapons. Oh wow, I wish they taught us this before. At least we got a new shotgun. Oh yeah, it definitely did. Oh, thank you for telling me I have access denied. Damn. Is that too hard to tell me? Riot gun ammo. Okay. Can we go up, please? Is this the guy I just grabbed the thing out of? No. You would have thought they'd have some hit, like some actual records for me to read, but no. I have to wait until I find a body. <laughs> Damn it. Looks like there's another control room across the way. We'll need to activate both to open the gate. Security field safe. Makes sense. Okay, get over there. I'll man the first place. Online. Try not to get yourself. Oh man, I actually does sell for quite a bit. The hand cannon. Boom bullets and alt fire mo module that fires explosive rounds. Oh, yes. Ah, but it's 1800. Really? That sucks. Um, they always just come with explosive rounds, I guess. Hmm, okay, I'll use that, yep. Yeah. That'd be very useful indeed, when there's nothing to hit them onto. Okay. <sighs> All right then. I wanted to save the game right here because we all know that I just got a checkpoint that was before I got to the bloody upgrade thing. So yeah, yeah.
Nice, another health injector. That's good. What the fuck, man? He just went straight through the wall. Okay, then. Is there any boss in this game? I haven't come across the boss yet, so... I'm gonna assume there's only one boss in this game. I'm gonna assume so. But I've only come, I haven't come across any big bosses yet. Anything that would be classed as an actual boss. Yeah, thanks, Sherlock. I fucking knew that already. Did you get through those gates? It's like, yeah, I kind of guessed that already. Don't I already have one from the previous area? I guess not. Looks like you're just a monkey in the cage, boy. <laughs> Use, and guess what? He's gonna break out. Guarantee it. Guarantee he's gonna break out of there. No? Okay, I guess not. We all know if he's going to break out in a minute. Explore the power station. Oh, this is the area from the demo. Oh, hello, buddy. You okay? We'll read it when uh, we get a second. Oh, come off it. Really? Alright, you fucking got to be kidding me, man. Okay. Fuck. Oh. 
this game, man. This is bullshit. Oh, I what ever, mate. How fucking amazing. No other game has this where a fucking enemy will just show up behind you and will just instantly kill you. No other fucking game does this. You want to know why? Because it's stupid. Pristine energy converter. Okay. Oh, and also you have to do this again, right? Put fear in people, and nah, this game doesn't do that at all. Interesting. I guess that's all of the enemies done. She better do that. UGC printing for all your needs. I like how it doesn't even change the appearance of the weapon. It does it for the guns and all that, but it doesn't do it for the baton. At least now we've got more inventory space there. Can't really bitch and moan about that, can I? Striking distance, his stock price is free falling. Really? Damn. That would make it a bigger flop than this. From, to be honest, if it turns out that Callisto Protocol is a bigger flop than Dead Space Free, I'm going to be like really surprised. Because at least Dead Space Free's gameplay isn't too bad. fucking say dude where's the quote from the trailer oh I wanted to make you like what do you call it have eternal life I know you're all going to pounce on me at some point. Might as well come out now. Oh, 
You knew it. Fucking knew it. Predictable. Oh shit. Where are you, little bitch? There you are. when you make a, you know, you hype the entire er everyone up into thinking that this is going to be the next spiritual su successor to Dead Space and then you provide us with a shit game. A bit busy at the moment, woman. Fucking hell, it's so janky. Yeah, I can't even move the camera, and that's interesting. No. I would like to know what the fuck your problem is, woman, so could you perhaps give us a hint? Hey, hangers the other way. I know. Well then, where are you going? Huh? I'll be back. What? Wait. I guess we're gonna find the red marker, right? <laughs> Danny, where the hell are you going? Man, I wouldn't even give it a 70 at this point. The only thing this game's got good going for it is, is good visuals and Danny? somewhat okay audio. Danny, where are you? Return to the crashed ship. We've come full circle. Actually, you know what? Let's just explore this area first before we move on ahead. Oh, there we go. Max Barrow. Associates include Jacob Lee, Kay Barrow, Wyatt, 
carrying now on all visors and patrol turn into clearance. Okay. I didn't listen to I actually I did listen to her, okay. Okay, whatever. I wanted to try and find the uh, the log that I uh, got from the guy that was trapped in the fans, but I can't really find it. Which is fine, I guess. Yeah, the neon light isn't on now. <laughs> Man, the ship's still falling to pieces. Time, you better pull it together. Someone's gonna fly us out of here. Come on, let's go. <laughs> well, the plot gets more and more stupid. To be honest, I felt that way about Helix Station. Like, it just seemed like a fan fiction at that point. So what were you expecting to find? UJC bio weapons. Trace it from Europa to oh, bioweapon. I wonder where I've heard this ship before. Can so. you stop moving to the right? I'm not even looking over there. Control room's just up ahead. Get ready. Time to transfer the data. I need to know everything I can about what's happening here. But you just ripped it out. Like you haven't done the same. Not to someone. Do you really know him? Or were you just using him to mm, Yeah, it's the thing though, like you think the doctor's dead or the scientist is dead, but then all of a sudden he just reappears in the episode six. It's just like are you serious? Like Ship's parked in orbit. What the fuck was that? The Did I literally just fall from nothing? We can take the elevator in the next room up to the landing deck. Yeah, that's where we took off from. Yeah. 
Okay, let's see if there's an enemy in this chest. No? Huh? What a surprise. I might need that to be fair. Right, of course, it still does the whole animation thing. There we go. Lovely. Just show me what it is before. No, okay, I have to back away just to see what it is. Pristine energy converter. Okay, well that's only like 200 credits, so it's not really worth having. You just told me to look around. <laughs> now you want me to go to the flight deck? not a lot of us will get refunds because we bought it on the bloody marketplace and also I don't have a disk drive so yeah I know you don't seem too surprised about what about any of this whatever the hell's going on around here it's all something like it before back on Europa Europa the news reports are <laughs> UGC propaganda. Things aren't always going to seem. Kind of like me. In that cargo you thought it was on. Maybe. I'd sure like to think so. Planets look amazing. Reached the hangar flight deck. Oh, that was easy. It's right on time. A hell of a lot bigger than my own ship. Think you could fly it? Yeah, I'll fly anything that gets us off this rock. Wait, what are you doing? It's not me. No. One must learn to accept what they cannot control. Still, I'm impressed that you made it this far. Perhaps you both have potential after all. Mr. B. It's not the Mora. Your journey was especially long, all the way from Europa. What did you say? But I'm afraid there's just too much at stake here. And the protocol cannot be broken. So, though your story ends here, please know that you have my respect. Sure, it just sounds like what the, uh, the Overseer would have said. Jacob! 
Oh wow, another fucking flying section. Or falling section, should we say. Definitely not dead space, right? Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, can't even fall correctly, can't even maneuver correctly. This shit is just a fucking fan fiction of Dead Space 2. Oh god! It's because you move so fucking slowly, it's unreal. Oh shit. Hallucinating now, are we? Totally didn't see that coming. Fuck me, Glenn. You are getting predictable. Jacob! 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 Come on! We gotta move! Hurry! It's still coming down! Cool. Finally, we get some more lore. There's an elevator nearby. We can take that to the transport hub, then cut across to the colony, and then back into Black Iron. Maybe we can actually back into Black salvage Iron. a timeline from yeah, this game after way. all. We almost got killed just trying to get out of Black this Iron. This isn't about escape, Jacob. So about? Not anymore. What's it about? Answers. Wait, what the Why fuck? Did Why did her? What? What? S slow down one second. Why did her audio just suddenly change to like what you call it? You know when, uh, what do you call it, um, I have the desktop audio playing, and then you hear from the video capture device as well, like it's literally like a nanosecond behind the, um, it's literally like a nanosecond behind the, uh, the other voice, or the other audio, so it sounds kind of dual, essentially, it sounds like a dual mix of what's going on, she just literally had that. Yeah, doubled audio. Her voice just had that. Come on. This area is not safe. Surprise, there's still power. Those old fusion generators were built to last. Obviously not. 
Sounds like the hangar's still coming down. Uh, yep. Elevator's just up ahead. Well, oh, yeah, every single audio mix in uh, games is all homemade. Where do you think they get the sound effects from? I mean, it's not really a secret that they do make their sound effects and audio all in the studio. We should hurry. This is the place, right? Yeah, but I don't see the elevator. Shit. It's busted. I was hoping we'd get lucky. This whole place is falling apart. There's gotta be another way down. Then let's find it. Come on. More stock audio, yeah, maybe. It's how AAA developed games are made, like they make their audio themselves. In like a sound studio. Indie developed games will most likely use um, audio stock because it's like the cheapest way of making these, or, like recording these sounds by just finding them on the internet. Where do we go now? Pressing the A button to vault. Doesn't want to vault though. Guess I don't go through here then after all. It was just to get some credits. There we go. Shit. You okay? Yeah. I told you to be careful. Yeah, right. Coincidence, I found the ladder straight after she did. <laughs> Over here. Come on. It's not that far. Yeah, that's how Glenn and the uh, you know his style of writing go, so isn't it? Nobody knows why certain things were the way they were. But Dead Space had this poor writing as well. Oh, well, I feel like we're gonna get into another trailer moment here. The upside down hanging part. 
Hello, be hello, beautiful. Fuck away from me, you dumb bastard. Oh my god, where the fuck do you just come from? Oh shit. I've got left. I don't know. One bar to... left. A different altar reacts to sound. You can hear this. But it but it trying to transport up. Where is the other guys that I killed? Did they just did the bodies just disappear? Yeah, it looks like it, for fuck's sake. make a sound. Some stellar advice. God, where the fuck are you all coming from? God, I love this fucking game, right? They just spawn from nowhere. <laughs> Seriously, they spawn from nowhere. Fuck me. Really? Jesus Christ, man. But apparently, you know, that, this is the thing, they can only hear you, yeah? So yeah, that's why we have to move quietly. But if you throw an enemy onto, an, onto one of those racks, essentially, yeah? Guess what ends up happening? Guess what ends up happening? They all know exactly where you are, even though 
You could have moved away from the area that you came from previously. Come on, turn around, you son of a bitch. Turn around. There you go. Uh, what difficulty is this on? This is on medium. Oh god. Yep, I fucking knew you would fucking do that, wouldn't ya? Oh, look how quick they can kill you! It's so fucking cute when they try to make a game, isn't it? Because they can't make a fucking game. Yeah, that was pretty disturbing, but still, like, come the fuck on. That's a... F That's pretty bullshit how quick they can kill you. <sighs> Didn't even know he was there until, like, oh, he just appeared. Fuck me, Glenn. Like, seriously, you could have done ten times fucking better, but you decided to go and fucking make your int- Like, this is what I feel like happened in the studio. Glenn sitting there patting himself on the back saying like, Oh yeah, all my employees, we've been working 15 hours a day, seven days a week, trying to get this game out on time. You do it because you love it. Guarantee, you know... This is the reason why I get a piece of shit fucking video game. It's because, A, like, you've burned your fucking studio. Like, you know, it's kind of like me when I've been working on the video for too long, essentially, yeah? I feel burnt out. Same thing as the fucking people that have probably been working 15 hours a day, 7 days a week, without a single fucking break. You know? That's interesting, isn't it? person that doesn't give a shit about his employees, right? Yeah, do it because you love it. Yeah, sure enough. Yeah, this game screams that you fucking... This is a ma major passion po project. So much so, yeah, you get enemies that just appear from the fucking darkness itself. God damn it. I'm going to go for a quick break, guys, but... When I get back, we'll continue playing through this area. See if we can find a way out of these corrupted tunnels. Alright, peace out.
Hey, hey everyone, what is up? It is the British Runner, welcome back to the stream. Thank you all so much for waiting. <sighs> Let's see if we can get through this area. This way instead. I oh, can't go this way, okay, never mind. Oh, I see an enemy there. everyone for welcoming me back. Turn around, you bastard. Turn around. Jump scare alert. No, okay. Nice. Can I not pick up the health thing first? Pick up the health. No. Apparently, I can't. No, I'm not allowed to pick up the health. Fine, I don't want it. I'll take the battery instead.
readings are inconclusive, but there's no immediate evidence of a breach in the containment zone. Hmm. Hmm, okay, fine. Okay. Guess we do have to go through this area then. So this is where the enemies are appearing from. Marvel. We know who's been whispering yet? Uh, no. I don't even know if there was anyone whispering. Okay, you're cereal. Pistol. Ah, of course, yeah, another jump scare. What what a fucking surprise, right? Another jump scare. heard anything yet. Oh, come on, Fit. Seriously?
choose an item. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. All Go back. systems operating within normal parameters. Finally, we can actually buy boom bullets. Notify the administrator with any concerns. Complete. Fully upgrade one weapon. Okay, cool. Unauthorized use of this print will be noted on your work record. Remove item from print assembly. And it's not a reinvention at all. Anyone who's saying that is delusional. Inspect print before use. Quality check. Verify. Just want to see what that was again. Magnum rounds damage upgrade. Cool. Cool beans. Doesn't even do anything to its like design at all. UJC appreciate your productivity. Unlocks a new low attack for use following a successful block of an enemy's final attack opens the enemy to follow up attacks. Okay, cool. Damage level upgrade, okay, cool. <sighs> alternative fire. Weapons upgrade with alternative fire mode provide higher firepower but uses more ammo. Press and hold the left trigger to aim down the sights and press the right bumper to use the weapon's more powerful alternative fire mode. Okay. I just, what the fuck mate, I held backwards to block and guess what it did? It completely ignored my block. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. No, that's bullshit Glenn. Like seriously, oh yeah, all you have to do to, hold, to block is to hold backwards, really? Well guess what, I just, I just held backwards like this and it get, guess what, it did nothing again. Hold the right bumper this time, okay. Uses half my magazine though, so is that really worth it? Yes, it fucking is worth it. Yeah, come on, Dead Space Remake. 
Hurry your ass up. It's close. I don't doubt anything can be worse than this game. Well, actually, no, there is something worse than this game. It's called Scorn. Fiesnum? What the hell is a Fiesnum? Wow, really? You have some range, don't you, buddy? Do you want those fucking spawn glen? Jesus. This here is a lot of enemies. Are they really just gonna follow me in here? I tried to throw him into that, but it just didn't really work out. Anything actually here? Value? No. Okay. Yeah, it probably will boost the remake sales at this point. This is what happens when you fucking. This is what happens when you rush your game out to try and beat another game to the punch. I feel if I hadn't been for these poor mechanics, that this game could have actually been something decent. Like this, for instance. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't see it where it came from. So there's no point. There's no way of defending against getting grabbed like that. There's no defense against getting grabbed like that. It's ridiculous. At least in other areas I could see it clearly and then like I could shoot the fucking thing, but no, not this time. Not this time, am I right? light. Yeah, because there's going to be no light in this area, isn't there?
course. Of course not, right? Doesn't matter if it was charged up. Also, I like how people are saying, like, oh, the death animations are going to get you demonetized. It's like, no, they're not. I haven't gotten demonetized yet, and I'm playing through the entire game. And I've been dying left, right, and center. And he didn't even have to contest the remake. He could have made this game better and have his slice of the pie, but no, Schofield had to be petty. Yeah. You can see his pettiness on Twitter. I wonder what he's been tweeting out lately. Like, no, the game's good. You just haven't been playing it correctly. Like, well, yeah, sure, I haven't. Guarantee he's been saying shit like that, hasn't he? Come on, turn around, you little bastard. Turn around. Come on, you freak. Turn around. I said turn around. I like how the other enemies don't actually hear you killing their friends. We're gonna have to do this the harder way. Oh no. Okay, I thought it was a different enemy type then. Yes, a battery pack, nice. Can't use it. Oh, what the fuck, man? They get attracted to my location, not the location that that landed at. Fucking killed now. <sighs> of course. Of course, because the game's got such a terrible fucking combat system. <clears throat> Does this game think that the fucking human skull is made out of putty or some shit like that? enemies do you want to put in a single fucking area, Glenn? Like, come on! Seriously, what is your deal, dude? I feel like there's like ten enemies just patrolling the fucking area. It's like, really? Really, Glenn? Really gonna throw this many enemies into this single little area? 
Here's one. I'm gonna count them out. There's two. Number two. Free. Turn around. Turn around. It's free. There's six. Oh my god, no. There's seven. Eight, nine. And there's ten. See, I knew it. There was fucking ten enemies in this area. Let's see if the game says I'm a fucking liar and provides an eleventh enemy. Turn around, just turn around. Be a good boy and turn around. Be a good boy and turn around. Thank you. So there's 12 enemies in this area. 13. Let's quickly save my game here. So I don't have to go back to a fucking checkpoint. Thirteen areas thirteen enemies in that area. This must be the transport hub. The UJC is here for you. Yeah, sure it is. No, I got nothing I can sell. Command not recognized. Looks like this will get me to the colony. Just hope Danny's there. Wait, the boxes are not. I can't open the boxes now. They were just blue a minute ago. No power. Let those cables lead to a generator. What the hell? They keep turning on and off. Is 
Okay, fine. Look, see, it's blue now. Go over to it. Oh, it's not blue anymore. Oh, they're blue now. I guess I'll run over to the... Oh, no, the red. No. Wow. Fucking hell, Glenn. Not even the boxes are even fucking reliable in this game. through this game again. That can't crawl underneath that, fine. And them two are just fucking lovers, aren't they? Just hanging out with each other. So we're up to 13 enemies in this one little area. loading screens, right? SB2 and 1 are absolutely shit for over this game. You mean Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2 would shit over this game. Fifteen. Alright, turn around. Turn around, you freaking ugly little bastard. Come on.
No idea. Oh, look at that. 16, 17, 18 enemies. 19. Apparently these guys are super heightened at hearing, but they can't even hear me attack their friends. See, that was right next to him as well. I didn't even see this coming. I'm like an assassin of the night. There's 20 enemies now. Twenty two enemies that have come across now. Twenty three. Oh, fuck off. Alright, you want to fucking go? Let's go. Let's dance. Being charitable to this game isn't going to do us any favours. Ah, oh, he fucking already knows I'm here. What a surprise. I've lost count of any, how many enemies I've killed now. Oh my god, seriously? More of them? Let's see if I can sneak past. Aha! Uh -huh. I can sneak past, cool. Oh, come fuck on, really? At least it gave me health back. That's not really the point. Make a selection. Nine hundred. 
record for that. Okay, dokie. Interesting how you can't find any slugs with the shotgun, eh? a new IP there is going to be uh, questions to those there's going to be a lot of questions really did I just kill it I did just kill her, somehow. Okay then. the area I need to go to. It's hidden away in the corner. <clears throat> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Connor. I'll, I'll stop doing that now. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. 
Mm. Oh, another one of these things. Maybe I'll have enough credits to upgrade Choose something. Item. Choose your enemy. Dun 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 dun. Choose your character. Bum 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 bum. Ah, for fuck's sake, I still don't have enough. Hmm, let's get rid of this. There we go. quite nice now. He meant the monsters. <laughs> I know. Mm, I wouldn't say the whole game could be fixed by just, what do you call it? I don't, I don't think you could just say, oh, the whole game could be fixed by adding a few logs. No, no, this game needs to be fixed another way. So many issues, so many glaring issues. Break her down. Another one to go. Fuck off and just die. Are you serious? That quick. That quick. That's how quick they can kill you. This combat is just terrible. Fuck me. Doesn't matter if I try to throw them into the fucking walls. No. Oh, look at that. Didn't fucking go into the wall. Fuck me, man. Seriously? That's it. Give me an item. Thank you. Finally. Which way do I go now? Is there another area I need to go to? Aha, there is. Yeah, they don't carry any force at all. I feel so underpowered. Maybe that was the thing, maybe they were going for that. But to be fair, the stealth kills are a lot more fucking menacing than any of that shit. Oh, 
See, insta kill. I love the insta kill when I have it. Oh, look how many enemies there are. This is fucking ridiculous. I shot the tentacles, guess what happened? Nothing fucking happened. I shot them point blank in the fucking chest where the tentacles were coming out. Nothing happened. <sighs> Fuck me, that is so stupid. So I'm just like starting to think that Glenn literally learn anything from his past games. Maybe he learned from Call of Duty that action sells. It's like not all the time. When you're trying to make a fucking horror game, you don't really necessarily want to focus on action really. You want to focus on other things. See what's going on now, because the fucking level is in the way. Restore power. Doesn't take much to get an achievement these days, eh? It's like getting a cookie. All you need is a pound. Or a dollar. It's not like these enemies will hear you. It's not like they hear us fucking killing their friends, is it? It's nice to know we can actually avoid these enemies. We don't actually have to kill them. Kind of leans more into a survivor horror. But they do spawn frequently, which is even more annoying. I oh, know, Glenn wasn't involved in Dead Space 2. That would be Steve Papoutsis, who's also involved in this game. But Steve, as we all know, is a bit 
not, I wouldn't say a liar, but he's just a bit, it's a bit vague on what he means by certain things. Come on, turn around, you little snap. Come on. I get it, we don't want to be too mean to the godfathers of dead space, but come on. I mean, I'm going to be brutally honest in my review of this game, and if I get any little um, crybabies that are like, you know, f super fanboys of these two, I'm going to tell them straight, yeah, that I don't give a shit, to be fair. I really don't care. Because I had, a, I had bought, I paid money for this. It's a trade at the end of the day. Now, I'd say that Steve Papoutsis uh, knows how to talk, but when it comes to his actions, it's not really the same story, is it? Okay, how the fuck did they even know I was here? He talks the talk, but when it comes to its actions, it doesn't really say much. Oh, are these guys, are these boxes actually available to open now? Can I open these boxes now? Yes, I can. Inventory is full. Skunk gun ammo. gonna drop this. I've got two already. I don't need another one. I'd rather have the ammo, to be fair. And I have a feeling after this area, I'm probably gonna be able to pick it up again. Because this is where enemies are gonna spawn in. Just like the drill part in Dead Space 2. The hell?
Uh, are you serious? Two hits and I was down? Oh, you fucking useless. Useless game developers yet again. Fuck me. Jesus Christ, man. Like, what is your deal right here? Oh, we need to make the game really hard. Why? Because it makes people scared. Yeah, because that's really what makes a game scary, right? Oh, look at this. I'm right back here. At least I didn't need to upgrade anything because I don't have enough money. Because this game doesn't exactly give you that much money at all. It gives you literally nothing. We could have fun with games these days, but unfortunately, games have just turned into a cash grab again. With mechanics that don't even work properly. What the hell? Oh, of course, it just failed on me. Here we go. Boss battle. Thanks. 
kill it. Nope. Okay, just taking a breather. Seriously, this is the easiest part in the game. I got 50 G for that. that's wiped out my entire inventory. No? Skunk gun ammo. Nice. No. Well, that's about the only gun I've got ammo for. Stand clear of tunnel. Okay, we're at the colony. Where are you? There's some kind of service tunnel. I'm on the other side. Just keep going. You're almost to the colony. Oh, look at that. We found our way to the trailer location. It's a mini boss, it's not exactly a boss. It's a mini boss. It's a difference. It's like calling the Bruce from Dead Space a boss. It's a mini boss, it's not really a boss. I'm at the colony, where are you? See that light tower? Meet me there. Light tower, got it. Hmm. Minor log. Now oh, they actually call these logs now, do they? Told them it was a complete waste of time, but UJC wasn't having it. Now they got my whole crew working OT. I just hope they find whatever it is they're looking for. Just watch out for stairs. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. Oh yeah, I gotta go down here. Come on. Oh yay, I love these enemy types. I love them. Okay, I thought it was something up here, but nope. I gotta love seeing more of these enemy types, right? The ones that you have to sneak past. Because you're incredibly annoying to get past. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. You had to turn around, didn't you? They said that this would take 12 hours to beat. Most of it's just crawling on the floor. What a beautiful backside you have. Ah, that's the reason why it's so beautiful, because I get to kill you instantly. I need you coming after me later. find a fuse for this, right? Or not. God damn it, it's my D card. Danny. I don't have an ID. This area's locked down. I didn't come in that way. Had to raid a security room up here to open things up.
Mm. Right, okay, I think we can stop running now because, like, probably won't be anything in there. Mechanic that way. But it's locked. these areas in you doesn't tell you where you need to go just expects you to find it yourself Sherlock. Oh, there's a ladder up there. Kill it, kill it, kill it. No, come on, really? Oh, fuck off! I didn't even aim for that! I'm just going to fucking plan at all. Just fucking somehow knew I was there. It knew I was there. Somehow. I managed to get behind it, and all of a sudden... Oh, I hear you! It's just like, how? How can you hear me? Not dealing with you fucking damage fucking the little slugs are literally nukes to your health. It takes off like a third of your health every time. I'll come off it. Go on then. Right gun is really fucking good. interesting. Are they talking about the biophages? Came from under the ice? What is it? What is it? Can I not see what the fuck the item is? Pristine energy converter. Thank you. Christ, man. Three years, apparently. You can't even read what something says. this first it'll free up some stuff okay anything else in this area no okay let's move on
and break that. That's what you deserve. Good old punch to your corpse. And you, sir. Good old kick. Assault rifle. I guess we're near the end of the game then. Because I heard that, you know, you get the assault rifle in the last act. Fuck <sighs> me, man. I got so much shit in here. It's unreal. What can I get rid of that I don't need? Because I kind of need the CPU converter thing. I'll, I'll drop some hand cannon ammo. Oh shit. Really wish they told you how much things are like, what do you call it? How much things are worth in the store? But it doesn't want to do that at all. thing that we found in the trailer, that thing, that massive fucking thing. <clears throat> I guarantee it will be another trailer spot. They do like to show off their game. Every aspect. Okay, I need a backup. I need a backup. I need a backup. 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 Now go forwards. A bit stabby. Stabby. Mr. Muck stab. There we go. Buddy, where are you going? You're coming this way, are you? There we go. Nice backside. I love it. That's the best view from you, mate. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I didn't even do anything, you assholes. guys deserve. You don't deserve a nice clean death, you deserve a, a long, arduous death. Oh my fucking god, you asshole. bullets for this gun. This gun's just fucking awesome at tearing them apart. Huh. 
Josh the Mahala. Josh do Hamel. There's your 12 hours. My 12 hours. Started, didn't it? You guys wanted a loading fucking screen. You guys didn't want any loading screens. Now, like, what? Look at what we got now. <laughs> circle oh hell no if this is going to turn out to be like some connection to dead space i'm going to be pretty fucking pissed off i must contact the circle you know it's in the unitologist circle that's what their faction was called in dead space the circle i hope not I fucking hope not Twitching corpses, where the fuck have I seen this shit before? I got full health. games like a bitch I'm gonna fight your enemies like a bitch mmm there aren't that many audio logs I haven't found them all yet though. I'll probably do another playthrough just to go around and try and find the audio logs in each chapter. Danny, you there? I mean, I'm gonna have to if I'm gonna do all videos. Responding? Why isn't she responding? Really? Are we really gonna be doing this? Why isn't she responding? It's just like, yeah, thanks for telling me what to think, you know? Thank you, uh, Glenn, for telling the player what to think at the precise moment. <laughs> Why isn't she responding? It's like, my question is, how the fuck are we going to get out of this shithole? The gate keeps you. Oh, fuck off! Excuse me? And of course, why not? Another death scene. It's not like this game actually earns the deaths at all, is it? It just fucks you over somehow. You try to grab them, guess what happens? You get killed instead. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Fucking amazing game. I have to say, Glenn, yeah. How the fuck did you do it? Fuck off! Jesus Christ, man! It's worse than the fucking... It's worse than the puker in Dead Space 2 multiplayer. Got any health packs here? No. <laughs> 
Guess Fat Boy didn't want to spawn this time. That's cool. I'll take that. What? Excuse me? That killed me instantly? Are you fucking real? <sighs> Gotta love these deaths, right? Guarantee I won't get the fucking Dakota now. Be randomized shit now, won't it? Nice. Oh, I did get the Dakota. Cool. Never mind. <clears throat> Got a full inventory. Thank you very much for the new subscription, Adam. Appreciate that. Just fucking die. I've only got one bullet left. One shotgun shell left. That sucks. Uh, no, you can't put items in the store at all. You can only sell them. Is this the guy I just got from? think those vaccinations are gonna help you get out of here. Not unless it's a body bag. Of course, yeah, another jump scare, right? Doing that what was that guy on used to say? Doing the same thing over and over again is like telling a poor joke. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't it? That's very interesting that he, you know, decided to say that shit back then, but now it's like a, it's a good practice now. Fuck's sake, game. Oh my god, really? And I, I, I pulled the fucking thing. I literally did this. And the game said, oh, oh, you want to dodge? <laughs> no, you ain't dodging for shit, buddy. It's like, really? You put this mechanic in the game and I'm all the way back here. Fuck off. No, fuck you. No, fuck you some more. Fuck your dad too. Fuck your daddy Glenn Schofield. Can't even make a fucking game these days, right? Can't even make it work, right? Has to fucking rush just to beat Dead Space to the punch, right? Doesn't put any fucking care and fucking passion into his projects anymore, right? Nice.
They had the same shit in fucking, what do you call it, World War II zombies. Oh, come off it. Oh yeah, and I have to pick this up again, right? Because, uh, oh yeah, so didn't pick it up before the checkpoint, yes. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Fucking hell, man. Just wish they just put a little bit more care into these games. Ah, uh, yes, the infamous locker. Definitely not going to go that way. The infamous locker surprise. Uh, no, you can go back over there, mate. See ya. I'm here. Fuck you. Get to a bloody store. One sec, I want to listen to this. CPU went to. Probably took out my bloody fucking inventory, didn't it? Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, yes, mate. Here we go. This probably helped me on boss battles. Quality check. Verified. Hmm. No, oh, it just looks exactly the same as the bloody the shotgun UJC did. Appreciates your productivity. Hmm. I need nine hundred, so I'm gonna have to get rid of something. That's not gonna quite cut it. Really? So it sells for a hundred, but you have to buy it at, what, fucking, uh, 500. So I buy it at 500 for a, uh, health injector, but it sells for only a hundred. How's that fair? Get rid of the skunk ammo. So I can buy a new upgrade. Block break will break the assailant's arm if they block an officer's melee attack. Hmm, that sounds good. I, I'll use that. Yeah, that'll help out. Doesn't necessarily look different from what I had previously, though. That's one of my criticisms for the upgrades. The baton doesn't look necessarily any different. Are you fucking kidding me? After all that shit, after all that shit, the game's just gonna crash. After I upgrade some stuff. 
Oh my fucking god, mate. You, you had to release this game before Dead Space, but you had to release a broken version of the game. Does the upgrades work like nodes? Hell no. Callisto Protocol is literally Dead Space, but worse. I didn't think a developer could actually do that. Fuck me, man. I didn't even get to save the game, for fuck's sake, you fucking useless pricks. Where the fuck am I? Oh, I'm right here. Thank fuck for that. I'm not that upset by that, but fuck me, that was just really stupid. Which console was supposed to be more stable? The fucking consoles. Xbox and PlayStation are supposed to be more, you know, stable. But I only crashed once, so there's that. Give me that assault rifle again. <laughs> Quality check. Verify. guns. Technically this is actually a real gun in the real world. Mm. I kind of want this because this is going to help. This is really going to help me in the long run. Assembling. The UJC appreciates your productivity. Okay, save game quickly. <laughs> save the game. So I don't have to go through the shit again. Wait, when am I supposed to go in here for something? Nice. But wasn't I supposed to come here specifically to progress or what? Oh, there's a, there's a ladder here. Okay, never mind. Oh, where are you going? I kind of need a specimen to test my new baton out. Getting closer. Yeah, I didn't really need the commentary though, Jacob. I really don't need the commentary. I hope Isaac isn't going to start doing that, like where he just starts mumbling to himself. Glenn talks about as the jump scares. Well, I wouldn't be fucking surprised. This guy is apparently the master of horror. What the fuck is she doing? Danny. Danny. I won't go. You can't make me. You killed them all. That was such. That was gotta be the most clunky cutscene I've ever seen in this game. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I hope they don't have Gunner Wright mumbling what to do in the game. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. I tried to protect you. You didn't deserve this. Hey, Danny. Get away from me! Okay. Okay, hey. Sorry. I'm okay. Are you sure? You don't seem okay. It was in their mind. Reliving their memories. 
There was an outbreak. 75 years ago. Just like what's happening in the prison. They killed everyone. Trying to contain it. Everyone. These aren't accidents. There's a pattern. Arcus, Black Iron, Europa. <gasps> oh, here comes the mini boss again. That's interesting. <coughs> Can't have a sentimental moment. Got this guy just coming around. Whoa! Get the fuck away from me. Gun. Move over to the next gun, please. Oh, fuck off. They've got enemies spawning now. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Wow, Glenn, I have to say, this game is just like you. A piece of shit. Fucking hell, dude. I mean, you're great, you're great at making death scenes, but I think that's literally all you can do these days. Maybe you should retire. Go live in the fucking countryside, because that's about as much as your speed is. Fucking hell. This way? Okay. I missed all those fucking shots. Are you fucking for real? I held the button to the left. But apparently that's just not good enough these days, right? A fucking clunky mechanic that does... That works like a fucking coin flip. Come on. Go away. Oh, for fuck's sake, you just had to go to the left, didn't you? Can I not swap to this weapon, please? Are you fucking real? <coughs> fucking amazing job this is, right? My fucking god. Why can you not just fucking make a decent boss battle? You had this shit in Dead Space where the bosses were just too fucking easy, but no, in this game you wanted to make it so they're fucking impossible to get past. Seriously, move. Excuse me? Excuse me? Glenn, yeah, I want you to come to my house right now, yeah, and play this game for me because 
This fucking doesn't work. This literally doesn't work. You try dodging while reloading, guess what happens? You die. Fuck off, game. Seriously, I said swap to... No, I, I guess I'm not allowed to swap. Just kill me already. Fucking get it over and done with, because we know this to be true. You fucking fucked up. Once again. You're going to make Callista Protocol 2? I ain't going to buy it. Simple as that can be. Not after this piece of shit. Fucking experience. Can't even get past a mini-boss. That's hilarious, right? Can I just swap to another weapon? No, of course I can't! Of course I fucking can't! You're insane, bro! Would you want to swap to another weapon? My survey says? Uh -uh. Fuck me, dude! Yeah, that's basically in a nutshell how the boss battle works. Oh yeah, just shoot, dodge, shoot, dodge, shoot, dodge, shoot, dodge. But the thing is, yeah, the massive problem with the fucking game is that you have to fucking do this, yeah, just to swap to a new weapon and then press the fucking A button, which, are you really gonna do that in the middle of a boss fight? Nah, I don't fucking think so. Okay, I'm calling bullshit on that. I'm calling bullshit. <sighs> so hard just to swap to a different fucking weapon. I'm done. Nah, nah, nah. You're going to do that, Glenn, yeah? I ain't going to buy any more of your fucking games. Because let's just be fair. You fucking suck. You, sir, suck at making any fucking video game. Can't even get to the fucking end of the game because, oh, we gotta put a boss battle in here. We can't have a sentimental moment. That would destroy horror. Because they're the masters of horror, apparently. Well, 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 I wouldn't be as optimistic as talking about Callista Protocol 2. I don't think their stock prices allow that. <laughs> yeah. What was I thinking, right? Fuck me, Glenn. Yeah, you should be in prison for this shit because literally that is bullshit. Oh, how do you swap weapons? Well, you press the right D-pad, yeah? You scroll down to the weapon you want and then you press the fucking A button all while dodging attacks from enemies in a boss fight. Because they couldn't be bothered. You know, this is the thing, yeah? The w you could have just literally have made the control scheme dead space. You could have done that. But did you? <laughs> no. Why? Why didn't you just do that? You could have just literally have done that. Press back to go into your fucking inventory or into the logs. Could have easily have done that. But no. No, right? You can't fucking do that. You can't fucking do that. You just had to go and fuck everything up. Just when everything was perfect, you couldn't fucking resist fucking it all up. Seriously. You think that this is a good game? Nah. It's not even fucking close. Fuck me, man. This makes me want to go play Doom Eternal. And we all know how I feel about that game. Not only is the boss a fucking hard, you had to go and put a fucking, you had to go and put a fucking another enemy into the fucking mix. <sighs> Fuck this game. Fuck this game. 
fuck the developers who made it, because they don't know shit about actually making a game that consistently works. Fuck me, man. Imagine if the hunter from Dead Space was this bad. Could you imagine? Oh no, could you imagine? Oh, for fuck's sake, I didn't say look up. I didn't say fucking look up. Are you serious? Are you serious? You actually hit me like that. Nah. Nah. This game is a load of crap. This game... This game doesn't even know what it wants to be. It wants to be fucking Dark Souls. It wants to be Dead Space. It wants to be The Evil Within. It wants to be Resident Evil. Which one, Glenn? You can't have everything. Just like me. Can't... I can't fucking spend good money. Nah, no, just kill me again. Just kill me again. See how it works. An instant fucking kill on the second highest difficulty. The second. Not the fucking hardest. It's not like we're playing fucking hardcore and every single you have to go through the game flawless. Nah. Fuck me, man. Really? Really? <laughs> I'm seriously. Seriously. Do you expect me to play through this bollocks? Fuck me, dude. Who would have thought, yeah, that this game would have been trash when it came out? Just literally today. First day impressions, it's not fucking good, mate. It's definitely not good. I mean, hell, this is why you got, like, most fucking reviewers telling you that you have just made a pile of shit. I mean, the game is beautiful to look at, don't get me wrong, but come on. Seriously, you might as well have just made a fucking museum game if you were just gonna do that, yeah, make the game completely shit to play through. But, what do you call it, make it beautiful. I might as well just be playing a fucking, like, a museum simulator. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. We tried to steer, we tried to steer as far away from Dead Space as most possibly could. You didn't try fucking hard enough, did you, Dick Glenn? No, you fucking didn't. Alright, I'm gonna go for a break because I'm getting too fucked off with this level and it's getting... It's getting to me at this point. It really is getting to me. It's just ridiculous how stupid of a fucking... How stupid of a boss this is. The mini boss literally just one hits you and you're dead. And, uh, and on top of that shit, you're in a very, very claustrophobic area. Could you imagine fighting the hunter in this uh, in this small, tight, packed area, essentially? No, you fucking couldn't, could you? Because that would be overpowered, would it not? An enemy that cannot die, trapped in a room with it, basically... Right there, and said and done. It cannot fucking be done. Simple as that can fucking be. It's a bullshit fucking excuse of a boss fight. But, maybe this is my fault, really. Maybe this is my fault. Maybe I should have just looked at Dead Space 1 a bit closer and thought, yeah, Glenn's probably going to make us have to deal with this bullshit again and again and again and again and again throughout this game. And he does. So I'm going to go for a quick break, because... <sighs> Fuck this game. Seriously, like... Just one fucking... One fucking finger, Len, yeah? What is this game supposed to be? Which game is this supposed to be? Is this supposed to be Dead Space? The Evil Within? Resident Evil? Or is this supposed to be Dark Souls? Or... Or Elden Ring in Space? 
because at this point in time, I have no idea what the intention was of making this game, because it's not survival horror. Let's be fair about that. This game is as far as you can get from survival horror. Seriously. It's like people that just think, yeah, oh, if I just make it bloody and gory, it's going to be called horror. Urgh. So what, are we going to start calling the Saw films horror? No, it's a gore fest. It's nothing to do with horror at all. Seriously. Just focus on getting one shot in, in between each dodge. Yeah, but that's not even the fucking whole point of it. Nelly, that really isn't even the whole point. Like, sometimes when you're aiming with your fucking, what do you call it, your gun, your camera will just shift to a certain area that's not even aiming at the fucking, you know. It's like, if you needed an extra month, Glenn, if you needed an extra month, I wouldn't have gave a shit if you took it. Seriously, you had an entire month before Dead Space came out, but no, we need to get it out two months beforehand, yeah? <sighs> Fucking hell. Seriously, and if people are going to use the excuse, oh, well, Crafted made them do this, it's just like, yeah, they really made them do this. Oh, yes, three years, you'll have it done? Cool beans, yes, three years. Three fucking years, but yet the EA Motive's able to make Dead Space in just two. Seriously. Seriously? Not everything is the publisher's fault. Yeah? Not everything. Developers have got to take some fucking credit for the shit that they pile out. Simple as that can be. Developers these days have to take some of that responsibility. They can't just hide behind the fucking publisher the whole time. Oh no, I don't think, here's the thing dealer, or dealer, whatever your name is, like here is the fucking thing 117, yeah, they didn't straight out say that they're going to beat Dead Space to the punch, yeah, but you can really see that through Glenn's tweets, essentially, he talks about how he, how they're crunching to get the game out on time, and, you know, from seeing what Dead Space's release date is, you can basically tell that they want to beat EA to the punchline. They want to get it out before Christmas so they can cash in on those Christmas sales. Fortunately, EA Motive knows better and knows not to send out a game that is poorly constructed and a game that is, what do you call it? And I really hope they don't fucking make me eat my words when I buy the Dead Space remake. I really hope so. But they know not to fucking send this shit to the people that are buying their games. Otherwise, they're not going to buy their games anymore. Just an extra month could have fixed all of these issues. Just one more fucking month. But no, you had to just... This is a complete betrayal. I, I'm sorry, but this is a betrayal of my trust. At the end of the day, I put great trust in Glenn at this point because I felt like he was the person holding the fucking entire visceral games together. And when he left, they were on a downward spiral. But fuck me, that could not be any further than the truth. Fucking... No, the only thing that's hollow it isn't just the game. It's the studio that made it. Fucking hard work. Yeah, you made, you, you're really hard work at making the game look beautiful, but making it actually work in combat? No. You did fuck all about that. <sighs> Seriously. Is this what I come to with video games nowadays? That, oh yeah, let's just get them out. It's no longer about making it to, you know, appease to the person buying the game. No. No. It's all about just fucking with someone else's wallet, right? So you can get filthy rich while I get poorer by buying these shit games. I don't think any amount of polishing would save this game. The systems are just lame. Literally, a single month could have made the fucking difference to make the game good. Seriously. 
It's like what they say when you're playing, like, it's like one of the developers of, uh, what do you call it, Red Alert 3, for instance, yeah? When he's playing through the level Big Apple, which is the last level of the Soviet campaign, he sits there and says, now I'm going to go for these resources, yeah? You don't have to go for these, but that could be the difference between victory and defeat, you know? So he's building this expansion base, yeah, to just farm the resources. And bear with me on this. Goes to do that. It's not, he doesn't have to do it, but he's doing it because it could potentially get him victory. Or it could, or if he doesn't go for it, it could mean that he could be defeated in the mission. So it's exactly the same thing with a developer at this point. You know, if you took an, like literally an extra month could have made the difference between making the game good and making the game terrible on launch. Fucking hell. I literally thought that maybe they had actually have learned their lessons. But maybe, maybe I was just reaching a little bit there. I don't know what they could accomplish in a month. Well, the game runs, let's just be fair. The game looks beautiful. The game runs. The story itself is kind of terrible, I'm not gonna lie. But the, what do you call it, the gameplay? The gameplay could have been saved by an extra month of polishing. You know, you could have uh, threw in a few more text logs every now and again, sort of thing. You know, spread them out a bit. But no, you just didn't want to fucking do that, did you? Too much work. Too much fucking work. We already spent three years on this. So I'm just wondering, how the fuck yeah? The game crashed? No, the game didn't crash. No, I've just paused it. Like, see? I've paused it, so... <sighs> we wanted sci-fi... We wanted cosmic sci-fi horror. The story is just so bare-bones. Usually a story has highs and lows with beats in between. There is nothing new here. Oh, there is nothing here. Hmm. Yeah. This is just a thing. I feel like Glenn just literally has taken so many things from other franchises that he's forgotten what made those franchises so good. But, you know, I guess like when you, you know, you, ex you I guess when you accept people from a fucking failed studio, you can see why. You can see why the game failed as much as it possibly did. You know, you brought people from visceral games in, and this is just fucking, this is evidence of why visceral games left, why, why EA had the decision to destroy visceral games, why they cut that gangrenous limb off. You know, turns out the fall of visceral was caused more by EA's decisions rather than Glenn leaving. Yeah, I would say so, but like, you know, I just always felt like Glenn was the glue holding that entire studio together. But, now nah, not so much. I'm very disappointed in him. I'm very disappointed at, in everything. Rinse and repeat all games now? Yeah. Seriously, like, just just remember how Dead Space was, how the world building was executed. It was executed in a very well done way. It wasn't perfect, but it was well done. Dead Space Downfall, for instance. Eh. Meh, you know. But, really, that wasn't really Glenn's fault at that point. Yeah, exactly. Exactly right, Hammond. I feel like his time in uh, Call of Duty games has really degraded some of his talent at the end of the day. I'm sorry, dude. Your lore stuff is more entertaining than a new game. Yeah. 
I was kind of hoping for like the Callisto Protocol to be like this expansive law fest and all that stuff, but unfortunately, the lore in the game is very minimalistic. It's not like a Dead Space where it actually did provide certain, you know, stories and all that stuff that you could talk about for days and all that stuff. But in this game, no. There's not a lot of stories. Sure enough, there's a lot of people and a lot of logs you find, but if I was to try and piece the timelines together, would I include all of the logs? Probably not, because some of them are kind of irrelevant at the end of the day. Actually, no, 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 I wouldn't. I would use all of them because they are all relevant to the timeline of this station. But however, remember in Dead Space where you had like one audio log that was like they were just talking about some random shit essentially and then a necromorph spawned out of event and killed them? Remember that? In this, I have yet to hear a conversation like that where you got two guys just talking about... Oh yeah, did you see the game the other day? Oh yeah, it was great. And then all of a sudden these biophages just spawn in and start killing them. I have yet to hear that. You know why that's in Dead Space? Because they wanted to make the game relatable to the player. So you would have these people, these employees, just sitting back, relaxing, not even giving care in the world. It's their day off or some shit like that. And then all of a sudden this monster appears and kills them. You know, like, you would have that. But in this, it's like, no, absolutely not. We can't have relatability. We can't have relatability in the game. Seriously, I feel like the characters, you know, the ones that are rarely talked about in Dead Space are the most relatable to the player. I mean, hell, there's a guy that's literally cutting off each limb in Chapter 7 of Dead Space because he doesn't want to be turned into a mindless monster that will go around killing more innocent people. But you don't see that in this game. I would've thought Glenn would've put that shit in there. Like, you know, more relatability shit. Hell, like, that's what a lot of people would probably do if they were in a necromorph outbreak. They would probably, you know, they would probably kill themselves to spare other people, you know, the misery of having to fight them at the end of the day, you know? But, you know, Relatability, like stories that relate to the player, essentially. I have yet to find them in this game. <coughs> All of the logs in this game are one of two things. Oh my gosh, we found something. Or what is happening with this outbreak thing? Hmm. It does seem like that, doesn't it? Maybe everyone is dead by now. Hmm. So do you have any of a game coming up you're excited for next. Dead Space Remake. That is what I'm mostly more excited for right now is the Dead Space Remake because I want to see how it's going to top this. Although, let's be fair, it's not gonna be a hard competition, is it? It's not fucking hard, you know? I'm not saying that de game development isn't a hard job and all that, but when you've got people that have worked in the industry for God knows how many fucking years now, a good 15 apparently, maybe 20, you know? People that are like considered veterans of this genre, and yet they bring this. <sighs> I feel like I've just been scammed out of my money at this point. That's what I feel like. I feel like, you know, Personally, I feel like I've just been scammed out of my fucking cash at the end of the, at the end of the day, you know It's not like it's not like Glenn gave me a free copy of the game. No Still had to go out and buy it simple as I can be I mean even if I were to be offered one I probably would have still bought the game anyway Everyone else has to buy the game, right? Helios was very surprised that I didn't get a copy of the game you know, from the developers. Which is fine, I don't really care, but I wouldn't even know the first part of actually getting the game early, to be fair. I don't know if you have to email them or something like that. have no clue at all. Absolutely none. But yeah, I'm gonna go for that break now, guys, and when I get back, we'll attempt to beat the fucking rest of the game, okay? Peace out.
Hey everyone, what's up? I'm back. And we're ready to get back into this. Let's do this. Yeah, why not? Why not? Dodge one enemy, can't dodge the second enemy. <sighs> of course. Of course. Yeah, of course, why not? I dodge one enemy, can't dodge a second time, can I? No. Fuck me, Glenn, you absolute asshole. Oh, for God's sakes, man. Really? <sighs> Trying to run away from one enemy, yeah? And then the fucking mini... This is why, when you have an overpowered boss, you don't put new enemies in the fucking arena with you. Fuck me. I would have thought any game developer would have known this, but obviously fucking not. Obviously fucking not, right? Uh, excuse me? Did you just see that? I dodged, but the game said no. I went to dodge, the game went no. That is bullshit if I've ever seen it. Of course. Yeah, why not? Try to swap weapons here. Yeah, guess what happens? I die. Checkpoint restart, please.
Are you serious? I just went to dodge and the game said no. The game said no. This game is insanely bad at its mechanics. Do you believe me now that it fucking they were rushing the game out to beat Dead Space to the punch? Can we just swap weapons, please? No, I didn't fucking think so, right? This game is insanely bad. Finally, it's done. It's fucking done, you piece of fucking shit. Fucking hell. Fuck me, so much ammo to put in that guy. Ridiculous. <coughs> oh no, 
momentarily didn't see this coming. Find any little way just to separate us, don't you? You okay? Yeah. Damn walkway collapsed. No shit, Sherlock. On the other side of the colony. Just keep moving, and I'll meet you there. That literally just seems like that was from Dead Space Three. Okay, give me increased damage. Assembly. Remove item from print assembly. Doesn't even look different. Never claustrophobic area with exploding enemies. <sighs> Gotta love dying over and over and over again and I guarantee. Oh look at this! I'm back here again! <laughs> Reforge. Oh yeah, like Reforge Gaming. Glenn's got fucking raging erection for that guy, right? What the hell? I thought blocking was supposed to, you know, stop major damage from happening. But apparently not. Apparently if... Seriously, this shit again. Oh, for fuck's sake. I have to fucking do this again. Might as well not even fucking bother. Okay, I'm just gonna get this instead. I can't be bothered with melee. Remove item from print assembly.
I'm saving my game here, just on the off chance. Surprise, right? Not a fucking surprise. Not a fucking surprise. What? Excuse me? Fuck off, I'm gonna go all the way back there, ain't I? Yeah, for fuck's sake. So it doesn't even matter if you save the game, it'll just send you straight back to that checkpoint. doesn't even matter if you save the game. Hilarious, right? I'm not even gonna bother. I'm not even gonna bother upgrading. I'm just gonna save the credits for later. Swap the weapon, swap the weapon, swap the weapon. in stock. Why would you check that for? I don't know I've already been here before. Mid time. Yeah, I have been here before. What the hell, man?
a selection. Whatever you say. Ugh. It's not even a point, is there? There's no freaking point. Oh, it's freezing. Can't believe people live down here. Yeah, well, didn't have much of a choice. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew this is what they were doing. Didn't I say in my lore video? Didn't I? Didn't I say that this was about understanding how to combat the freaking what do you call it thing? Me. It's all about understanding how to combat the disease. Son of a bitch. Found a source, people, apparently, according to the achievement. What lies belief? Released by the miners when they broke through to Callisto's subsurface ocean. It was dead by the time we arrived, killed by security forces. But inside the carcass, we found thousands of larvae, primary disease vectors for the biophage pathogen. We collected specimens and transported them. Son of a bitch. Secretly sending these to the colonies.
Turned into one of them. Oh, fuck off. No, get the fuck off. Oh, son of a bitch. Are you fucking serious? I dodged his attack and the game went, <laughs> did you know? <laughs> no, you didn't. Oh, fuck off, game. Oh, fuck this game, mate. Fuck this game. Excuse me? Apparently holding the fucking... Apparently doing this does nothing now. Come off it, game. The fucking thing literally had the aim assist doesn't even fucking work. The TV will not be turned off in five minutes. I can guarantee that. Oh, don't start this shit with me. I don't want to do the fucking... Oh my god, how do I get rid of this now? One second. One second, one second. My TV has just done something that I do not know how the fuck to correct. I'm going to have to turn it off and then turn it back on. Because... <sighs> fucking was starting to do... It was trying to magnify my fucking display and it's like no I don't want to do that now I can see okay once again I'm gonna have to do this because earlier my home page just popped up does that every time I turn on the TV smart TVs man more like dumb fucking TVs you okay 
Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, I knew this shit was gonna happen. That was quick. Infection fucking spreads fast, isn't it? Just shoot her and get over and done with, man. Ability now. We've seen this in other games. People that become liabilities will turn on us eventually. You're gonna need this. Okay. Why are we giving her my gun for? Okay, we're almost there. That literally just looks like my gun. if he's actually going to be like, what do you call it? The actual hero of the story. I swear to Christ if they do a flip on that. Error online. Invalid selection. Option not available. Please make a valid choice. <laughs> Exactly, Daniel. Exactly right. She is a liability. Not sound not saying that to sound mean or anything like that, but in these scenarios, liabilities never a good thing. That you follow me, love. You stay the fuck away from me right now. I know you're gonna turn on me eventually. Predictable at this point. <clears throat> Prisons running on autopilot. Systems are all shot to hell. Almost got it. It's the shoe. The whole prison is infected. Hmm, yeah. 
We should get the hell out of here. Good idea. Warden signal is still active in the command tower. Can we make it to him? Looks like it. I'm getting the door now. CPU printer. Inmates, return to yourselves. Hmm. That's interesting. We've just got jumped. Tower. Hmm. Full circle, get thrown back into the original cell. Huh. Daddy? Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Right back where I started. Mm hmm. What the hell am I supposed to do now? Find me. Waller? There's not much time. I was able to reroute one of the security units. I have Danny. Where is she? in my neck and now you want to help For fuck's sake, Glenn, are you ever going to grow up? Guess not. This pity party of fucking jump scares doesn't really wash with me. thing again. Yeah, like you knew I was there. Oh, you fucking asshole. No, no, we're going to upgrade something first before we go in there. Just need to find some stuff. Please make a select shot available.
Let's increase the damage on this. Excellent choice. I would be more concerned with actually upgrading everything to the full, but I don't really think anything else actually does, you know. Okay, so I did have full ammo in this. Is this the shotgun or is it the pistol? Back away from the back away from the fuse. However, oh, this will get nasty. Three, two. Okay, I warned you, you son of a bitch. Another CPU printer. Well, that wasn't as hard as the last one. Last one was harder. The choice is yours. Live or die, the choice is yours. <laughs> Please make a valid choice. Sell it. User assumes all liability for use of this thing. same dead space uh, to be honest with you I don't really get the difference anymore this is a pale in imitation of uh, dead space to be fair it's a pale imitation See if I get an achievement for getting all the weapons. So like a hand cannon, but I guess we'll soon be able to. Oh, hello. Choice. Every choice in your life has led you here, to this place, this moment. But what choice will you make, Jacob? Will you remain as you are, or will you choose to become something greater? Hmm. Oh, 
Oh shit, no, go away. Pressing the A button. The holograms are supposed to glitch though, aren't they? Oh, for fuck's sake, again with this crap. It's not even fun anymore. You know, come on. Get a new fucking punchline, would you please? Do something new. Get the fuck out of here, you brick. No, get the fuck away from me, asshole! Fucking hell, I can't even get out of the way of the fucking exploder because of this prick. My god, seriously? Can't get away from the fucking exploder because I got a prick in front of me that won't quit. And we all know that these guys like to fucking tag team you. Like we're playing WWF all over again, for fuck's sake. Oh, for fuck's sake, I forgot this cunt was in here. Just get the fuck off of me. At this point, yeah, I think anything would be better than this game. What the hell? Why is that flashing for? I'm not really concerned that I lost health at that point. That was health well spent. Can you just grab it, please? No?
fuck out of here. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh my God, really? Are you serial? I couldn't... My fucking God, Glenn, you need to work on this game, because this game is far from finished. Fuck me, I couldn't even swap to my next weapon. No, seriously, what other game doesn't allow you to swap to your secondary weapon? What other game? Oh, look at this, I'm back here again. What kind of bullshit is this? Couldn't even swap to my secondary weapon. How many shots does it take to kill one of you fuckers? Seriously. In the great words of Newman, will you die already? Fuck me. Pick up the ammo. Well done, dickhead. And oh, where's the corpse gone? There it is. That's fine. Are you serious? To be honest with you, I want to cave in, you know, the quote-unquote master of horrors head in. Fuck me, this guy literally knows nothing about horror. Absolutely nothing. It's a fucking horror game, yeah? It's not even scary, man. Oh, fuck off, I didn't even open it! I didn't even open this fucking stupid fucking thing. At least the, at least the game said, yeah, that's kind of bullshit, like, let's give him a health gel. Me, you can't even tell if you fucking opened something. I really believed you would have liked it eventually initially. Nope. Fucking die. Oh yeah, of course, and also on top of that, the fucking combat, yeah? Oh, 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 you're fighting two enemies at the same time. Guess what? You fucking have to put up with them intervening in the fight. All the fucking time. Fucking die. Die. Finally, he's 
dead. No, I can't. Can I just reload? Is that a thing? Okay, I'm already fucking fully reloaded. How was the game? Uh, the game is a piece of shit, that's what it is. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty at the moment. Yeah, okay, whatever. I don't really care, to be fair. It's a fucking piece of shit game that needs work. Shit. Fucking master of horror, no, master of jump scares, more like. I hate this transform, holy shit. Right, you stay away from me. Reload it. Just chopped your fucking arm off. Is that not good enough to kill you? Yeah, I knew you would find it fun, Helios. You normally do find the most bullshit games fun. The game that literally needs work. It's an unpolished, unfinished piece of crap. That's why I didn't warn you about how poor the game is. But just wait until you get to some of the bosses. You'll find out that how bullshit the game can truly be. Literally, you hold the fucking left stick like this, or like this, or like this, and it's a coin flip if you actually dodge these days. It's ridiculous. Have yet to see a patch. Yeah, I'm making sure I ain't got enough enemies here. Okay. okay. These guys went too bad. How many times have I died? Probably about close to a hundred times now. But let me guess, Helios, that the game is a work of art, right? No, don't you shoot at me. Don't you dare spit on me. Come here. Fucking go over. No. Get on there. Thank you. I will be making a review of this, because this game deserves a fucking brutal, honest review. There are some moments where the enemy does hit you, even if you dodge and stuttering moments. Yeah, just wait until you get to a boss that you meet four times the same over. There are times where I literally dodged it, but it still killed me. And it's an instant kill every single time. An instant fucking kill with the boss. Apparently, according to... Oh, hello. Oh, fuck off. I didn't want that. This game is just a blatant rip-off of Dead Space and Evil Within and Resident Evil. It doesn't even try to hide it. 
I jump over this? No, I can't. I'll go over that shit in my review, though. This game deserves a brutal, honest review. Yeah, but there's the thing, Elliot. Should you have had to modify your game just to make it playable? Like, really, should you have had to modify... Oh, for God's sake, I keep pressing the B button like it's dead space, for fuck's sake. Why can't they just have the same control scheme as dead space? I don't understand why they had to change it. Respect to Helios calling that broken combat fun is far from being fun. Dead Space 2008 2.0. I wouldn't even call it 2.0, it's a pale imitation of what it wants to be. See, shit like that. I clearly hit him, it didn't stagger him at all. Stuff like that, literally like... What do you call it? I literally just hit the enemy, it didn't stagger him. He just continued on hitting me. That shit's bullshit. Oh god. Fuck you, asshole. Get here. Come in. Shit. See? See what I mean? What do I mean, people? Unearned deaths once again. It's better to wait for them to attack first and dodge their attacks and then attack. Yeah, but it is a fucking... No, they don't do normally two attack patterns. They do whatever the fuck they want, Helios. I mean, like... Let's just be fair, Helios. How far of the game have you gotten through yet? Have you made it outside of the prison yet? Or are you still in the sewers? I'm assuming you're in the sewers. And I go straight to an enemy that I wasn't even locked on to. Amazing. Right now you're on your way to the dome. What, what do you mean the dome? I don't know where that is. I can't remember where that is. The dome. Uh, the dome. Have you gone past the ice area? Like the outside area, have you gone past that? Because the enemy patterns I'm seeing is sometimes they'll attack you twice, sometimes they'll attack you three times, sometimes they'll combo you with four attacks at the same time. And on top of that, the enemy's combat is kind of fucking broken, like, literally, the game will be like, oh yeah, like, you could be attacking one enemy, you're on low health, and guess what? The other enemy will be like, fuck this, I want to play, and just kill you instantly. You yeah. know. Oh, you fell in the red tube. Yeah, you're inside the sewers, mate. The red pipe. That's what it is. The sewers. Yeah, I think that's chapter three. Aha. Yeah, that's just being generous to the developers. As you know about me, though, I'm brutally fucking honest about what I literally think.
SDS. What do you mean SDS? Of course, though, there are some fucking reviewers out there that are willing to suck Glenn's dick, even though that the game is poor. One reviewer I said, like, one review I watched, like, uh, I can't remember his name, uh, one second. One reviewer I watched while on my break, essentially, um, like, half of his video, because I had to watch it in parts, but, like, um, uh, skill up. Yeah, he made a video and it hits the nail on the coffin of how much the game lacks. Essentially. I mean, like, I I agree 100% with skill up at this point. His points were on point. The combat is a bit wonky. The, you know, the AI is a bit wonky. It'll just decide whenever it wants to chime into a battle, you know. Other... Like, at some points when you're in a group battle, the enemy will just dogpile you, and it can be very overwhelming. Essentially, it can be completely too overwhelming. And then that shit happens. Fucking... Fucking... Die! I don't know, no, no, no. Grab, grab. No, no. I said grab the item, you fucking idiot. Jesus Christ, how hard is it just to grab an item off the floor? Yeah, I'm still gonna need a heal. And this, this thing here, you can't heal during battles because it takes like forever compared to the just like in Dead Space where you just press a button and you heal. Mm, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that Motive Studio is going to do a way better job and it's going to blow everybody away with the remake because at least they didn't think, oh, we, no, we need to beat Callisto Protocol to the punch because that's what Glenn thought, right? That's what Crafton wanted. Wanted to beat Dead Space Remake, right? And we can see that that was a poor decision to make. A very poor decision. No. <coughs> oh my fucking god, you asshole. Hmm. Now oh, fuse required, okay. I guess we're going to be hunting around for a fuse in this cesspit of nightmares. Seriously, like these things right here, Helios? These things take the fucking cake with the jump scares. You'll go up a ladder at some point, yeah, and one of these things will be in the room on top of the ladder. And it will literally launch itself at you. Just like, and they all damage you. They all give you damage. And it's like you don't even have time to even, you don't get time to see it. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Okay, I'll see you later, Helios. Have a good... Try to have a good stream, man. I'm sure you will, though. By the way, British, the gentleman who was with us last night, uh, Data Newberger, yeah, he works for EA Vancouver. I bet he's hoping Dead Space Remake beats this game as well. Hmm, maybe. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. Who knows? Oh wow, look at that. I was able to open them, but there was nothing in here. Yeah, another health injector. I'll use that right now, actually. Also, the checkpoints in this game are just fucking unbelievable. The is yours. 
The choice is yours. Live or die, Helios. Make your choice. Hmm. Need 900 for that. 1500 for that. 900 for that. 900 for that. There's no point. Got no money to be spending right now. Oh, for fuck's sake, Glenn, could you... What was it that you said, like, back in 2008? If you keep using the same jump scare over and over again, it's like telling a joke. It becomes less funny the more times you tell it. God damn you, Glenn. Like, what happened to you, man? What the fuck happened to you? Oh, you little bitch. Come here. I am very disappointed in you, Glenn. Very disappointed. giant fan here. Yes, awesome. do that. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why can't I just swap my weapon? No fucking way, I'm running away, but apparently it just doesn't fucking work. Apparently it just doesn't fucking work. You can't run away. Can't run away, right? You're not allowed to run away. Oh, shame on me. Fucking hell, man, wait. Like Fuck you, you fucking asshole. Just die. At least I have a shotgun. Alright, let's see if I can kill it this time. Nice. Oh, fuck off! Why is it that there wasn't an enemy there last time? Oh, 
Oh, of course, why not? Fucking unreal. How how is that fair? How is that fair? You give me one fucking enemy to deal with and a boss to deal with. A boss, mind you, that can kill you instantly, and when you dodge the other enemy, guess what? The boss can just insta kill you. Fuck this game, man. I fuck this. I'm out. I'm fucking out. I'm going back to the fucking area I just came from. If I can. If that's allowed, you know, like, uh, you know, Glenn, if that's allowed to go back to the previous area. You need to balance the Should have enough ammo to get through the boss fight now. Sake, are you real? This is exactly how I feel about this game, Jacob. That's exactly how I feel. You're speaking my type of language right now, dude. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Fuck this game, I'm out. I had the fucking assault rifle out, yeah? We all knew this. We all saw this. I had the assault rifle out. And guess what it did? It replaced it with the fucking pistol. When did I fucking say I wanted the pistol and the shotgun out? I wanted the assault rifle and the shotgun. Something I don't think would have been too much to ask. But guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I now have to go all the way back to the fucking area I came from to go and build all that ammo again. And every single time we have to watch a fucking animation. Online. Fuck me, it's not hard. It's not hard. It really isn't that hard. Could have put a skip button in the game, but no. Glenn Schofield doesn't believe in skip buttons. He believes in pissing the player off as much as possible. There's a game coming out this Wednesday. Ixium? I really hope. 
Cassido, Wimple, anything like that. Uh, I don't know. It's not gonna lie, I did have high hopes for Callisto, now I'm a bit crushed and anxious. Man, how do you think I feel? I fucking paid money for this shit. I paid money out for this. No, I don't want this. I just want to go to my other weapon, select a different weapon. Why have I got this weapon out now? Oh, for fuck's sake. Now that's just taking the piss of it, is it not? You can't have two prime... You can't have the shotgun and... You can't have the shotgun and the assault rifle out at the same time. Oh yeah, of course. I can't fucking w run anymore. Why is that? You, Glenn Schofield. Bastard. Fucking lion prick. Oh, Callisto Protocol, we're working so very hard on it. Working so very hard on it. Cry me a fucking river, you lion snake. You're a snake. That's what you are, sir. You are a snake. Oh shit, no, no. No, I don't want to aim right now. I want to run. I want to run. Just attack me so I can dodge it already. Fucking hell. Oh, you absolute asshole. That's the boss fights. Yeah, the boss fights are unfucking forgivable. Fuck me. At least this is the fourth time I'm seeing it, and I know now that from a reviewer that you don't actually see it after this time, so it's just like. I just need to get past it any way I fucking can. Any way I can. <sighs> I didn't know we were playing Dark Souls. I didn't know that this game was going to be Dark Souls, right? Right, guys? Didn't know this game was meant to be Dark Souls. I didn't know the shit. I'm just going to focus on getting assault rifle ammo. That's what I'm going to focus on. I'm just going to focus on buying more and more assault rifle ammo. Mini bosses, there is only one actual boss. Yeah, I know, and apparently it is a horrific boss at the end of the day. Horrific as in difficulty, not design. But to be honest with you, I don't know if there's anything worse than what I'm going up against right now. Because this is bullshit. First head is absolutely fucking easy to take off. Second head doesn't want to fucking die. Second head wants to be a prick. a moon with tentacles. Nah. It's not that kind of moon. Oh, 
Uh, of course. <sighs> How many times have we had to see this shit, Glenn, right? Couldn't come up with anything better to watch. How many times have I had to see that fucking death scene? How many times? Fucking hell. And every time I die, guess what I have to do? Guess what I have to do? Because they fucked up with the checkpoint system, yeah? I have to go all the way back to the fucking place I just came from to go and fucking buy ammo. How fucking stupid is that? Right? Doesn't matter if you save the game, you can still get the same fucking checkpoint. UJC printing. Have a united day. The, syst the, the system that... Seriously, look, the saving system doesn't even work properly. You save at a specific point, yeah? Guess what? It just reverts you back to your last checkpoint. It doesn't do anything. Saving the game does nothing. Yeah. Nice to see ya, Eric. This is a load of horse shit. I didn't know that they were making Dark Souls in space. Really didn't know this. Seriously, I would love to ask Glenn myself, yeah? Okay, so how? why did you drop the ball with this game? Fuck you, mum. So glad I got that upgrade that breaks his arm if he attacks me. Or if he blocks my attack. Can we just fucking not? God, can we just reload, please? Is that too much to ask? Oh my fucking god! Let me fucking re. Let me see my other weapon. Oh, thank fuck for that. Not that corpse, this corpse. Thank you. Trying to swap to the other weapon is pure fucking cancer. In a fight. In a fight, it's cancer. You press the fucking button, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. A coin flip once again. You are not in space, the dump was terraformed. Our last hope is the remake, yeah. Our last hope is the goddamn remake. Please, EA Motive, make this, make your remake, make the Dead Space remake better than this. I mean, you don't have to try that hard to be fair, but come on. I don't wanna have to deal with this shit again. Damn, man. I can't figure out what. Oh, for fuck's sake, another jump scare? <sighs> Seriously, I will, for my remake, for my review, I will look up that interview part that he says that, oh yeah, t telling, telling, uh, like, fucking horror is like telling a joke. If you tell it too many times in the same way, 
it just gets boring. That has got to be the 50th chest or locker jump scare I've received. That is the most pathetic thing I ever known. Someone that just like is a massive hypocrite. Defensive systems powering down. Okay. Get inside. I guess we found our way to the laboratory. Can I just thank you? shit to do with a fucking marker. Let's try explaining that. Yeah, I'm gonna have a fun time trying to explain why people are losing their fucking goddamn minds. I mean, it's not a high bar. All they have to do is make Dead Space 1 again. No, because that would be a remaster. It wouldn't be a remake. The whole point of a remake is to remake the game. So it you know, you make it better, play better, you know, all of the above. But you're remaking the game with original assets, not just, you know, using the original assets. Experimenting on the prisoners. The figures. How long have we been doing this? I wonder if we can find the final boss in here. Make a 10th floor video about how Jacob has to sit down every time to heal himself instead of slowly walking or running like a normal in a fight. Do you have to trust me? I'm wasting time and she doesn't have much. Alright, fine, do whatever you need. Soon everything will become clear. Why don't you start by telling me about this? You saw the recordings, you know what happened on Europa? I have no idea what happened on Europa. I wasn't there when the attack happened. No, but she was. Are you sure you really want to? Yes! Do you wish? <coughs> what did you do to me? Give you what you wanted. The curse of knowledge. Your core is linked with hers now. Or at least it will be once the sync is complete. The data won't transfer immediately, but her memories will fill in the gaps, give you the answers you seek. Okay. Just tell me how we can cure her. You can use this to synthesize an antidote, but you'll need to extract a sample from the warden's elf. Is, is what? The goal of this madness is ridiculous protocol. During the original outbreak, the colonists, known as Subject Zero, demonstrated a unique ability to synthesize the biofish, to control it. Yeah, I heard in the recording something about bigger, stronger. The next phase of human evolution. Unfortunately, he was killed during the Arca sterilization. And now, the Warden seeks to replicate the conditions of the original outbreak, hoping to recreate Subject Zero subject alpha by releasing the virus into the prison as he would say evolution doesn't happen in the lab it happens in the wild you know, how can he do this there's no way he can cover this up he's not acting alone he's part of <coughs> dating back centuries they seek to control the progress of human she's she's waking like how the subtitles say guide but not control Be careful, Jake. once synthesized the antidote will contain the only pure essence from his alpha He'll want it more than anything. It's the key to all he seeks. What about you? I played my part in all of this as well. There's no escape for me. Black Iron is where I belong. It's you. Yeah. What happened? 
happened? Where am I? It doesn't matter. We got what we need. Now let's go finish this. Come on. How are you feeling? Like something inside my head. I'm trying to take over. Uh, that's not good. We'll be there soon. That's not good. That is a bit bullshit. Something that's easily implemented isn't in there. Did you see that? See what? Eh, nothing. Elevators ahead. Should get us up to the tower. right now. I'm not even allowed to run. <laughs> uh, balance issues. I'm sorry, but if you can't put New Game Plus in the game, then don't even bother making it. Last thing I remember is those without ketchup. <laughs> Mother's helping us get the cure. And you trust her? Don't got a choice. Yeah. Same here. What is all this? This is definitely not the UJC. Hmm. Piece of the no, meteorite. Piece of the asteroid that hit Earth. Or part of the Callisto moon, maybe? I don't know. I like how in Dead Space you can move stuff with your feet. Look at this. Watch it. Oh, it doesn't move. Fucking hell. Data transfer complete. What the hell? Oh my god, it's the memories in it. Danny, where are you? It's these memories in it that's now coming into fruition. And now you're inside Danny's memories. Seeing the tricks of Europa. A diluted test sample released from one of our labs. A tragedy that inspired everything For fuck's sake, really? Come on. Good job to do. Are you fucking real? Are you are you fucking real right now? This was our fault. Really? Really, Glenn? 
they directed the footage to cover up what they were planning to test the black iron. I like how he's not like, oh my god, I'm such a monster. I allowed this shit to happen. I could have stopped this. Oh wow, now he says it fucking hell. But I didn't. You made the wrong choice. Now how are you gonna make it right? I don't know, how could you make it right, to be fair? There isn't exactly a lot of ways you could make the death of millions right, right? You unleash hell upon that area. Jake, what's wrong? Hey, come on. Come on. I can't. Yes, you can. We're almost there. No, I can feel it. Uh, hear it in my head. Uh, let me stay here. I'm gonna come back when I get the cure. Uh, I can take care of myself. Okay. Make him pay for what he's done. Right, he's literally just gonna keep a secret from her that he started the outbreak on Europa. Or like he could have stopped it. Bothered with the rest of it. Have a united day. Have a united day. So we actually did know it was like that. Well, we just forgot. <laughs> How do you forget something like that? The greater risk is in failing to act, especially when the commonality is finally within our grasp. And right on time. He approaches the survivor. The survivor. Who the fuck are, what the fuck are these guys? I'm not gonna let her die. Your friend. I've been watching you. You and your so-called friend. You're not the innocent you claim to be. You've proven that you'll do just about anything to ensure your own survival. And what about you, huh? Watching people die for fun, is that your protocol? No. You are mistaken, Mr. B. Protocol isn't about death. It's about life. Our future lies out there. Our destiny. We were not built for life in space. This fragile shell holds us back. We have to evolve. We are to survive. And now... You'll all see why. Proof that my methods are worth the risk. A final contest to determine the true survivor. Humanity. Oh, for fuck's sake, this guy again. For my out. <clears throat> Did they literally just copy Resident Evil? Well, five, two, one. You are really a thank you. At first I thought this was a curse, but then I realized it is a gift. Okay, whatever the fuck you say. Has opened my eyes. My purpose. Now I'm gonna show you. Oh, Senator Armstrong, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 
tricks. No escape this time. I've been you. I've been everyone. I told you. Oh great, the final boss. That's why I couldn't kill him before. Cause he's the fucking final boss. Hey, it's Glenn Schofield's true form. need a cool Isaac Clark here and he'll be able to fucking destroy it in a jiffy. <sighs> yeah, we're at the final boss now. Yeah, why not? Just checkpoint restart the fucking fight. Checkpoint restart. Oh, whatever, I held the fucking thing to the right. Oh, Glenn, you fucking suck at making games. Oh, that's a load of shit, mate. And again. Fuck me, dude. Fucking hell, this game is a load of fucking pile of fucking trash. Oh, every time, I have to reload. Fucking heat seeking bullshit.
Oh, you got to be fucking kidding me. Really? What kind of fucking idiot does this? Oh, uh, you know, for the most part, let's just spawn random enemies at the guy. Did he really think this was going to be the best fucking idea ever? Like, the most talked about game ever? Fuck me, did you just make Glenn Schofield the fucking final boss? Maybe it would have been a bit more bearable, a bit more realistic, right? Or is this what his fucking ego looks like? Can hit them. Why can't I hit them? <sighs> Fuck this game. This game likes to just fucking throw the exploders at his face. Can you? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Fucking hell. Oh, that's a load of shit. You weren't even next to me. You weren't even there. You weren't even there. You were a mile away. But somehow you teleported right behind my fucking ass, didn't you? Fuck me. Can you reload, please? Instead of fucking just standing there looking at it with fucking awe. I'm so done. Like, seriously? They gave the fucking boss everything, didn't they? They gave the boss every fucking ability in the fucking book. You know, this book is so massive, Glenn, yeah? I would like to fucking throw it right at your face. I must say, necromorphs are still superior to whatever this is. Yeah, exactly. Fucking unbelievable. We're not fighting a boss, we're fighting Glenn's ego. Seriously. Can I even fucking heal before he starts attacking me? Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Can I reload? Normally that's the thing you do when you fucking know that you're out of ammo. Oh, you fucking cunt! You fucking asshole! Oh, did you want to melee? Here, yeah, melee! Really? I really wanted a melee, didn't I? Checkpoint restart. You can heal. You can heal. Yeah. Finally, I actually got somewhere in that.
up the Seriously, I want to know. I want to know from the man himself. I want to know from the man him fucking self. What the fuck were they thinking? Seriously, what the fuck are you thinking? Seriously, the only people that would enjoy this boss battle are people like Helios, yeah, that would just fucking go, Oh, yeah, it's so fun. Mm, it's so fun. How the fuck is this fun? <sighs> What's the even point of beating this fucking game? It's a pile of fucking horse shit. Fucking master of horror, apparently. That's your ego talking, Glenn. You're not a master of anything, mate. <sighs> Seriously. Master of fucking horror. Yeah, keep telling yourself that, mate. Whatever helps you sleep at night. <sighs> Seriously. I hope you memorize every possible way to deal with enemies, because now you need to use all of those strategies at the same time. Seriously? Well, it's official, this game is worse than all of the Dead Space games combined. Sitting down, casually taking your time, healing. Think they... Dark Souls 1 is to now. It's 100% great. Gonna beat it so you can have fun. Yeah, okay. Evil Within enjoyers might like this too. I enjoyed the Evil Within, Capt, okay? The Evil Within is not as hard as this bullshit. There are so many things wrong with the flow of the fight. I had fun for a couple of fights, but then I felt the problems after the second half. Thank you very much, Connor, for the $5 donation, dude. They defended the free spirit and this free second sprint meter, so they'll defend this too. Okay, what's wrong with a free second sprint meter? You can upgrade it. <laughs> Just upgrade the sprint in the Evil Within. It's not hard. This shit, you can't even upgrade your fucking health. You can't upgrade your speed. It's ridiculous. Please take a moment and accept this, mate. You suffered through this so badly, so none of us will. You deserve better than this. Go get a pint. <laughs> Yeah, master of fucking cash grabs, yeah. Right, I'm gonna fucking checkpoint restart. Give it one more go. If I don't get it, then I'm just going to go for a smoke. Can you just fucking heal? Why does he start the animation but then go, nope? Oh, you fucking asshole! You fucking asshole. What a fucking useless game developer. Fuck me. Fucking me. This game makes me miss Dead Space 3. Uh, of course, yeah, it doesn't matter where you fucking go, does it? It'll always hit you. Every time! Every time it fucking hits me. Where are you? There you are. Oh shit. I. Oh no! No! No, go away! Oh, for fuck's sake. This game is a pile of horse fuckery. Gave it more attempts than I fucking said I would. None of us will. I had to suffer this game with a shotgun only on maximum security. Laugh my ass off. 
Dead Space Remake Remaster is probably going to be better or worse. No, I say that Dead Space, the Dead Space Remake is going to be better. Because, one sec, I just need to turn the fucking music off because this is pissing me off too. Like, what do you call it? Dead Space Remake is going to have a very tough time. It's going to have a very tough time being worse than this. Okay? Unless they made the boss battles so overpowered it makes this look trivial in comparison. I liked Dead Space 3. Mm, yeah. I didn't mind it. It's just that it didn't really want... It didn't make me feel like I wanted to continue playing it, you know? If Dead Space Remake is doing worse than this, then I'll never buy a modern game again. <laughs> I'd say, Callum, Dead Space Remake is going to destroy this mess of a game. Yes, and dearly so. Have some faith in motive. As I said to everyone at the at last year, yeah, just give the guys a fucking chance, you know what I mean? Give motive a chance to show us what they can do. And from what they've shown us, yeah... The fucking demo people played, essentially, the people that, you know, got to play the first few chapters of Dead Space, essentially, yeah, the remake, <sighs> like, literally, from what I saw in the gameplay, it's ten times better than what I've seen in this entire game. That's insane. But anyway, I'm gonna go for a smoke. I can't be fucked to play this right now. Literally, I want to go for a smoke. I'll come back in a moment and give it another crack. But I don't think I'm ever gonna be able to beat this boss battle because it's just fucking insane. Is there a way I can actually take like the difficulty? Can I turn down the difficulty? Is there a way? Oh, you can change the difficulty. Huh. But uh, I want to try and see if I can beat it without the difficult, like, without changing the difficulty. But anyway, guys, I will be back in a moment. I'll see you all in a minute. Peace out.
what is up. It's the British runner here. And we're about to get right back into this. hits me. Or is this me again? Like again with this shit? Instant kills. Every fucking time an instant kill. Why has it gotta be an instant kill? Absolute asshole, you absolute asshole. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Seriously, Glenn, like, you don't know how to make a fucking game to save your life, do you? Obviously, fucking not. Have to do this shit again because it got me down to such low health, it's unreal. Yeah, can't dodge it, can we? Can't dodge the fucking spit. Oh, for fuck's sake, fuck off. Yep, and I'm dead! Wonderful! Great game, Glenn. Great game. Can't even beat it. Fuck me. Can't even beat this pile of shit 
fucking game. Got pretty close, didn't I? Yeah, fucking bullshit. As soon as you get into the boss, you have to heal. Otherwise, you ain't gonna fucking survive. That's so bullshit. Of course, I'm dead again! And what a surprise, right? What a fucking surprise. What did you miss? Oh yeah, nothing much, just me dying a bunch of times. But you, how? I pressed the button to dodge. I pressed the button to dodge. How the fuck does it do that? Hmm, you weren't quick enough. Yeah, it's funny how that works, isn't it? Just gotta be like Glenn, be an absolute bitch. I was behind the pillow, come on.
Oh fuck this game, man. That is bullshit, and you know it. I want to see Glenn beat this game. That's what I want to see. I want Glenn to fight this fucking thing. I need to find health like crazy. Nice. Uh, you got to be fucking kidding me. The game just crashed. Thanks, Glenn. Appreciate it. It needs an update now. Are you fucking kidding me? This is the time you... Seriously, you could have done it any fucking other time. But when I was doing good at the boss, when I was beating the boss, you go, now's a good time to update the game. Fuck you, Glenn. Fucking, you're a useless bastard. You're an absolute useless pile of shit. Now we have to sit here and wait. <laughs> Fuck me. Right as I was about to beat the boss, the game goes, oh, the game needs an update now. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? You want me to sit here and say that you're the master of horror, but yet you do that. You're an asshole. Fuck me. Really? Really? You've just you've just ruined you ruined it now. You've just ruined it. Game needs a fucking update apparently. I don't even have a disc. That's the funny thing. I don't have a disc, Joshua. I have it on the marketplace. Because I was convinced that Glenn would do a good job. Yet, has he done a good job? <laughs> no. Absolutely fucking not. I can't believe that that just happened. Yeah, this was the patch they were talking about. Yeah, but they couldn't have just fucking patched it. Like, they couldn't have just patched it when I wasn't about to beat the fucking boss. Could they have just patched it earlier? Yes, they could have just done that. They could have done it before I went live. They could have done that. But no, 
They do it as soon as I'm about to beat their fucking game. Thanks a lot, Glenn. I appreciate you being an absolute trash whore. What does that even mean? <sighs> Fuck my life, man. Seriously, now I have to sit here for like an hour or so. Yeah, in about like 38 minutes. Oh my fucking god. Literally, as soon as I was about to beat the boss. I was doing so fucking well. And then the game goes, No, you can't have the win. Yeah, how about patching it before they actually released the goddamn game? Literally, if you said that, oh yeah, we need one day just to patch the game, I would have been like, fucking, fu fucking go for it. I wouldn't have gave a shit. I've waited like, what, three years? One more day isn't going to hurt, but fucking hell. That is insane. You patch the game as soon as I'm about to beat the game. Forcing the game to me exit me out of the fucking experience and to just boot me back to the fucking dashboard. Maybe give my final thoughts on the game. Uh, it's trash. There's nothing more to say about it. It's, it's not even a game at this point. It's a torture device. That's what it is really, isn't it? They should have sent this shit. They should have sent this game to the CIA to use as a torture device. They should have really just done that. Because that's what this game is. It's a torture device. It's not a fucking game at all. <coughs> Seriously. What the fuck is wrong with you, Glenn? No, I'm an honest, honest to God fucking thing. I've just had four smokes. Like, literally, I can't fucking smoke anymore right now. You know. <sighs> Why did you have to fucking patch the game now? Why? Of course I'm not fucking, you know, holding back. Might as well see how Helios is doing. I'm gonna say, want to hear something tragic? I was about to beat the final boss. I was about to beat the final boss when the game booted me back to the dashboard to give me an update. Let's see what let's see what Helios has to say about this.
we'll just say now and lifting the lockdown. And roughly this well. Only problem is I can't reach it. The walkway collapsed. Okay. Uh, by the way, every mini boss and the final mi boss is to kill you. The choice is yours. Well, remains to be seen. You just go up back. Come on, show up. You know, if everyone wants to jump on the Helios' stream for a moment while we sit here, you're more than welcome. Twenty nine minutes remaining. Come on, grab it. Okay, one left. Well, how about this? We'll uh, jump on YouTube for a little bit, yeah? We'll just check out and see what, um, what do you call it, is happening and all that stuff on other YouTube channels at the moment. Maybe, uh, maybe Reforge has a, uh, you know, a voice to be uh, heard and all that stuff and this whole thing. Maybe he can shed some light on certain things, yeah? Let me just... Uh, what do you call it? Aspect ratio of this shit. So yeah, let's have a look and see. Um, like, let's have a look and see. Um, uh, I'm gonna have a look at Reforge's, uh, what do you call it, channel. See if he's said anything about this. Oh, of course. No, 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 no. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Callisto Protocol is not difficult. This is how I know he's just a fucking troll channel. He is an absolute moron. 
I wouldn't even call it difficult. Like, that's an insult to the word difficult. It's not that it's difficult. It's that it's just cheap. I wouldn't even call it difficult. Like, that's an insult. Bruh. It literally is difficult because of the poor mechanics. Come on. The way that the mechanics are... Imp Let's have a look at the comments. <laughs> Yeah, exactly right, Dark Star. That is, that is by definition the exact fuck. That is the exact definition of the Callisto Protocol right there. This game is for those who think visuals or visuals are more important than gameplay. Hmm, so Reforge thinks this, this is uh, truly awful as well. Huh. Who would have fucking guessed it? Is he live now? Doesn't even tell you where the fuck the uh, original material came from. What's this? Podcasts, Twitter, Discord. Um, first look, that's where we'll probably see it. Right? No. Wrong. <laughs> I'm going to assume that he's on Twitch. I just want to see if he's live. See if he's actually doing anything. this reforge gaming let's have a look at his twitter and see if it matches up no nah, reforge gaming not gaming underscore reforged yeah I see you there hmm. yeah he only does youtube i guess and it's a members only thing I guess he only does members only uh, live streams, right? Hmm. Interestingly though, this is very interesting. He has delete he has since deleted his Dead Space videos and every other video that he's ever made. Man eater, I want to see what he thinks about this. Hey, thanks for clicking on the vid. Yeah, I don't want to see your intro, but I just want to see what you think of it. The predators Does he actually talk in his own fucking gameplay? hurting me all right cool great request i can't recommend this game i'm shutting the video off i don't understand like <laughs> go eat catfish and i don't know i'm getting hit three or four times and i'm dead so great well, that is the whole point of man-eater, you know, like, you are a predator, you're supposed to go out, you're supposed to eat fish, essentially. And yeah, there are going to be predators that are bigger and stronger than you, so you can't hope to be the 
apex predator right off the bat. You play like, what, 24, 25 minutes and expect to be the fucking biggest and baddest fucking shark out there fighting alligators. <laughs> God damn. Yeah, I, I didn't really like uh, Manny to that much, to be fair. Like, I got close to the end of the game, but by the time I got close to the end of the game, it's just like, um, oh, he got banned from Twitch for sexual assault. What? What? What the fuck, man? Did he say that, or was it, you know, something that was brought up? I don't know, let's have a look at his uh, Twitter again, shall we? Maybe there'll be some, uh, you know... Let's bring up his Twitter, essentially. Maybe there'll be um, some... Ah, oh, yeah, his members only. Okay. His uh, live streams are members only. You have to pay to watch and play video games, by the way, people. <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck? Um... Imagine if I did that. Hey guys, pay to watch me suck at video games, eh? <laughs> uh, tweets and replies. That's where it's all gonna be. Must have been something recent, right? Hmm. Wait, what? No way, that's a random chicken butt. Chicken butt. What the fuck? Two years ago, I was 20 pounds heavier, eating poorly, drinking too much, damaged, angry, depressed, and anxiety riddled. Supporting wife, beautiful kids, continued therapy, a producer who believes in me, and a community who backs me. Would have not made without all of you. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's not an asshole to, like, what do you call it, his, you know, community, by the way. By the community, I mean, like, people that pay him, essentially. <laughs> Well, we've seen him be an arseholes to... He, we've seen him be an arsehole to, uh, what do you call it, people that are not his direct audience. What the fuck is this? I really don't understand what the main issue with that, with that is. Gotham Knights 30 FPS controvert. Really? That's a controversy? Fuck me. Seriously. Done with the days of fucking Susie Lou and all them lot. No, no. The T channels? No, no. That's not a real controversy. A real controversy is having 30 frames per second. Fuck me, some people just need to go out and get themselves a life, really. I feel like they really need to go out and get themselves a life. Seriously. Seriously. 30 frames per second controversy, what the fuck. Seriously, like, oh, 30 frames per second, here we go again. Like, what the fuck? 
What's wrong with a game that has 30 frames per second? You know? What's wrong with that shit, guys? Reforged the, the Diet of Wings of Redemption. Wow. <laughs> that sounds like DSP. Yeah, it happens like two or three years ago. Bungie also banned him because he shares all D2. Hmm? Okay. What are your thoughts on the mess that is Rooster Teeth? It's amazing. They are in business after all their scandals lately. I don't even know what scandals you guys are talking about, really. Personally, I have no idea. Pause. I used to watch him when he was called something else on YouTube. Oh, okay. So what you're saying is Reforged was called something else, but then he rebranded to Reforged Gaming. Okay. Agreed. Also, I think Shwelen hates the Callisto pro Protocol. Shwelen. 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 Is that how you spell it? Shwelen? S H W. Oh. No L. And then an L and then an A and an N. Okay. Shwelen Callisto Protocol. I think I hate the Callisto Protocol. It's going to be a bit of a difficult video today, mostly just not to talk about, but to, I don't know, come to terms with, because I don't think it's much of a secret to say that I am not very happy with how the Callisto Protocol has turned out. There's two sides to this coin. There's talking about the game from a technical performance side, and then there's talking about the game from a gameplay standpoint and both fucking hell that is insane i didn't have these issues when i was playing it on launch but fuck me yeah like that is insane the gameplay that i've seen right there like how how fucking stuttery how cut up it looks fuck me that looks disgusting hey glenn how come you allowed this shit to go out can you, can you, uh, like, you know, sit there? What happened after your tweet, Glenn? What happened after your t tweet? Let's have a look at his, uh, let's have a look at his, uh, Twitter. Let's see if he's been saying anything lately. What's he been, what's he been talking about? Oh, is that it? just a fucking picture of a silhouette fucking main character? Wow. Someone is like, whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? No, I don't want to reply. I just want to see the replies. Can we not have a look at the replies? Really? Someone missed. Oh, okay. Someone else made that shit. Okay, never mind then. So, well, they probably didn't make it. They probably shot it in the game itself. Okay. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Seven o'clock or so, I will have info or the go-ahead there are really smart people working to fix. I'm act, I'm acutely aware of how this looks, but it's software and one complicated bug can really do some damage. But even if it came out tomorrow, wouldn't that be okay? No, Glenn, no. You, you Seriously, like you think that all of the issues that Callisto Protocol has is because of a fucking bug and a software update. have to fucking congratulate you on your pure ignorance. Seriously. Seriously, like, seriously, why couldn't you just 
you know, look at some of the reviews. It's Friday, 11 p.m. Glenn Schofield is coming to stream the Callisto Protocol with us. Mike and I are going to survive as long as possible as we talk to Glenn about designing this nightmarish universe. <laughs> no, I want to see Glenn play the game. That's what I want to see. Glenn, make yourself a YouTube channel and stream yourself playing the game. I want to see you flawlessly get through the game. If you think it's, you know, a good game. Yeah. You should stream the stuttering mess that is the PC port of the game. See how that works out. It's ship day, dude. Mistakes happen. Any minute it will be corrected. Mm. No, Glenn. <clears throat> Sorry, but... Just say that and my fucker reply to that sorry but the stuttering is only one side of the issues I faced poor I faced poor combat controls dodging is a coin flip even when holding the stick to the left then to the right camera likes to move independently when running healing takes 50 years to complete swapping weapons is slow like I think that's pretty I think that's pretty, like, what do you call it? I think that's pretty, you know, like, what, what do you call it? Um, respectful at that point of how I was feeling when playing the game. Whoa, the fuck is this shit, man? Fuck me, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Jesus, man. My phone did what the Callisto Protocol failed to do. It literally scared me. Oh, God fucking damn it. But yeah, literally, like he, he sits there and he says like, it's ship day, dude. Mistakes happen. Any minute it will be corrected. Sorry, but the stuttering is at one side of the issues I faced. Poor combat controls. Dodging is a coin flip, even when holding the stick to the left, then to the right. Camera likes to move independently when running. Healing takes 50 years to complete. Swapping weapons is slow. Like, 
I think that's pretty respectful compared to what I was feeling when playing the game. Simple as that can fucking be. Greg, please ask him about the crunch and studio culture. Because <laughs> remember, Glenn actually tweeted out, yeah, that, what do you call it? His studio had been crunching because they want to do it, essentially. Because they love to do it. Dude, I've answered it a thousand times. It's not our culture. It happened. I apologize. And I take full responsibility for making sure we get better. Sometimes there are fire drills. We are a startup, so things slip. I promise you, I do not promote that at all. No, but you promote fuck. No, but you... Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this instead, yeah. Here's how I see it. Your studio had been crunching to make sure the game was ready for the release date to beat the Dead Space remake to the punch. To beat Dead Space to the re Dead Space remake to the punch. Seven days a week. Okay, so how can I shorten this? Here's how I see it. Your studio had been crunching to make sure the game was ready for release to beat the Dead Space remake to the punch. However, due to burning out the studio with 15 hour days, seven days a week, the game has been released with multiple issues. I expect more from you. That's what I'm saying. Simple as that can be, that's what I'm gonna fucking say. <laughs> It's comical, dude. Don't say that you're sorry you want your money back. Listening to keyboard typing in general is music to my ears. He should be apologizing to you. Did I hear thunder? Is that just me? He should be apologizing to you. The story sucks. Content sucks. It's Glenn. He's calling you. <laughs> Will you continue Shwilan's video? Maybe in a minute. Man, Glenn's just a joke. What I miss... Uh, I was just replying to uh, Glenn on Twitter, you know, him sitting there saying, oh, it's, it's day one. O obviously, there's going to be some I issues and all that. It's just like, no, no, Glenn, no, you don't. 
this is not a fucking finished game, obviously. This game is far from being finished. Crunching on cereal. Oh boy. Spiral, you made me blow snot out of my nose. Okay, wow. Well. <laughs> That's the funniest shit ever. My bad. You might want to remove the comma after release. What do you mean, my comma after release? No, just let me have a look. No, the comma is good. The comma is good. It's basically saying like this. Here's how I see it. Your studio has been crunching to make sure the game was ready for release. To beat the Dead Space remake to the punch. You know, the comma is you taking in a breath so it creates a pause in between the two. However, due to burning out the studio with 15 hour days, 7 days a week, the game has released with multiple issues. I expect more from you. Thanks for the response and taking responsibility. I really appreciate hearing that. Wow. <laughs> so Ryan sits here and says, Greg, please ask him about crunch and studio culture. He was making a fucking joke. Yeah. Ryan was making a bit of a jab towards Glenn, right? He comes out saying, dude, I've answered it a thousand times. It's not our culture. It happened. I apologized. And I take full responsibility for making sure we get better. Sometimes there are fire drills. We are, we are a startup. So things slip. I promise you I do not promote that at all. Oh, uh, fuck me. That's just embarrassing. <laughs> that, is, that is really embarrassing, Glenn. I'm, I'm sorry. You should not have taken that fucking so seriously. You really shouldn't have taken that seriously. Maybe this is the reason people do this to you, Glens, because they know you're going to fire back, firing all cylinders at them, essentially. But Ryan sits here and goes, Thanks for the response and taking responsibility. I really appreciate hearing that. Hoping for the best for you and the team. Did you guys hear that? Kind of sound like Ryan unzipped Glenn's trousers yeah his pants and took just fucking deep throated him at that point fuck me i'm not being sarcastic you seem like a great guy and an awesome leader can't wait for to enjoy the callisto protocol <laughs> how do we tell him <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. That is hilarious. I'm going to give that a like and a retweet. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yet yeah, no day one fix update for PC port. Yeah, what do you expect, Helios? You know, the, they gave the same treatment to Dead Space. <laughs> this is comical. One guy that deserves credit is Master Niz Scrooney for the CB, the CDPR. He at least had the decency to put out an honest and remorseful apology video for the ill-fated Cyberpunk launch. Hmm. I didn't see that one, though, so it doesn't exist to me. <laughs> well, the uh, Callista Protocol is ready for... Launch. Low British. Presumably they wanted you to insert a semicolon instead. <laughs> instead of a killer game, we're proofreading complaints against it. Low. And that's a joke. Yeah. Well, I feel like it's time we get back into the Callisto Protocol now. Okay. Let's see if we can actually, you know, do something about this game now. Let's see if we can actually beat it. Can't believe I was about to beat the fucking game in the game disguise. Uh, no, sorry British, not today. Could have had it all done by now. 
No, 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 no. Checkpoint restart. Fuck that. Too fucking late of healing. Cannot heal that quickly. Uh. Okay, go, go, go. Get as much health as I fucking can. God damn it, man. Don't you fucking dare. Not today, dickhead, not today. the wrong button. Move! Oh my god! Ah, oh, you asshole! Come on, really? That's a cheap shot. Now, can we swap to a better weapon, please? the other ones. No, go away. I want to find your other little freaks. Guess there ain't any more freaks to deal with. Holy shit! I did it! I fucking did it! <laughs> Such a bad boss fight. What the fuck did I do? 
think you've beaten us. Ferris was weak, an imperfect vessel. But in that sample is the key to unlocking a centuries-old dream. That's not failure, Mr. Lee. That's progress. And it belongs to me. No. No, 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 I don't think so. Please, this is no time for false heroics. Leave the sample and walk away. There's an escape pod up there. To take you back to the life you once had. We can both have everything we want. So tell me, Mr. Lee, what do you want? I'll tell you what I want. I want my sister back, fucker! A valiant effort. But surely you know by now, I never lose. No. This time you do. stopped us. The data gathered here will carry the protocol to the next phase. As for you... Nah, no, this guy reminds me of Bryden from Catalyst, Bye, not Mercer or Tideman. And Mr. Lee. I do hope you've enjoyed your stay at Black Iron. Hey, okay, there we go. Run. Get the fuck out of here. One. There's just one. Fucking Mona Lisa. the end for Jacob Lee. Data transfer complete. That transfer worked both ways. He learned more about me, and I learned more about him. In the chaos of the moment, I didn't realize he had also given me the evidence I was looking for all along. He sacrificed his life so that I could expose the truth. Was he trying to make up for the... What did he do cost? again? He went along with sending the uh, parasites to the um, the Eudora or whatever it's fucking called. I hope you. Your banner or whatever it is. That's it. Well, that was the Callisto Protocol. Unfortunately, we can't listen to that because it'll get a copyright claim.
Interesting how there's no other difficulty you unlock for beating the game, right? That's interesting. Kind of interested to see how they've actually managed to uh, fix the, the game itself. What they've actually put into the patch itself. Oh wow, really? Really, Glenn? Alright, alright, I, I need to show you guys this. Because this is some bullshit right here. It was a massive disappointment, is it? Yeah, exactly. Being mean cynical and acting like you know me isn't making it go any quicker i'd ask for patience and understanding as we fix this issue we aren't happy about it either well i'm sorry glenn but the fact of the matter is yeah if this game was free then i guarantee everybody wouldn't be so fucking pissed off about it however the game is not free is it we, we paid money for this shit, and we expect it to work on day one. Appreciate all the dedication you've put into this game. It's not a huge setback in the long run. Keep up the good work, man. Thanks for the transparency. Fuck me, these guys are just sucking his dick. I don't know if you'll read this, but I know you're not happy about all of this as well. But try not to worry about some of the people on here. Keep the... Oh, fucking stop sucking his dick, man. Seriously. Be real, you know. Thank you. Sorry, no. Your team was probably just as excited to release it as we are to play it. It isn't anything new to us to experience a bad release and the fact that it happened with such anticipation is just disappointing. It's not about it's not about having a bad release. It's about his behavior overall throughout this year. You know, this is the thing, isn't it? It's not really about the bad release. It's more or less to do with how Glenn's attitude has been throughout 2022. For instance, stay stay in there on twi on Twitter, yeah, you know, crunching because you fucking love it and all that stuff, yeah, trying to get some validation essentially from his fans, yeah, trying to do that essentially, yeah. It's not necessarily that there was a bad release; it was a poor release due to fatigue. You burnt your studio out, Glenn, yeah. You push them too far. It's as simple as that can fucking be. It's not about having a bad release. It's having a bad release due to burning your fucking employees out. See now, if you didn't do that yet, if you didn't make them fucking work 15 hours a day, seven days a week, and also you tried to say that, oh, no one's making us do it. Really? Really? Yeah, sure enough, no one's making you do it, but I guarantee you are trying to push for that in your own studio. You're sitting there saying, well, we highly appreciate overtime. Like, seriously, if, if someone was to say that to me and I'm a new person working in your studio, am I going to say no? No. <laughs> if you sit there and tell me that you highly appreciate, you know, like people that do a lot of overtime for the 
for the game itself, essentially. I'm going to push myself as far as I can push myself, even to the breaking point, to getting good with you, right? We all know things happen. It doesn't make what they are doing right, but I can understand the frustration. This, er this is the only game I ever bought the deluxe version of that wasn't on sale. You have $80 from me because I believe in your vision. I can't wait to play this move. Fuck me. These people are all delusional. These people... Oh, bollocks. <laughs> These people are all delusional. The thing is, should we just tell Glenn to stop his day job or just let him come to realize it himself? That maybe just maybe his glory days are in the past and needs to move over for someone else. I don't really think he needs to give up. I think that he needs to, uh, what do you call it, accept the reality of the situation. See that not, not all public, like not to see that, uh, what do you call all publicity is bad publicity at the end of the day. Essentially, me as a content creator, I mean, technically I'm responsible for giving you guys the ins and outs of what I really think about with the video game. Otherwise, I'm not being a very good content provider at this point. Nah, he didn't force them. I would say he influenced them to do so. As I just said, oh, we highly, really appreciate it. You know, I wouldn't say he forced, just influenced it a little bit, you know. And that was wrong of him to do so. He has apologized since, you know. I believe so, anyway. I haven't seen the apology, but... <clears throat> but I have not seen a single fucking person yet that follows Glenn being truthful at all. Not at all. Maybe when they play it smoothly, yeah, they'll be able to see how fucking minimalistic this game actually is. Seriously, thank you. Every process is a new, every process is new too. We've stress tested. Fuck. Oh, thank you very much for the new subscription, Nick uh, Slater. Appreciate that. Thank you. Every process is new too. We've stress tested everything, but man, this is complicated code. We even had to build the f publishing team. So we've had our hands filled for 3.5 years. Please bear with me. We've had to build the publishing team. So everything that everyone says, oh, it's all the publisher's fault. No. Striking distance. That is a, that is a statement right there. We had to build the publishing team. Okay. Okay. So what you're saying, Glenn, is that um, crafting yeah, is entirely of your own doing, essentially. So therefore, you are entirely at fault for this game, right? Who else has he mentioned here? Steam. <laughs> what? What? Why Steam? Ankylisto protocol. What? Greg Miller. Can we can we see what Greg Miller's been saying about the Callisto protocol? Really? Because he hasn't really been saying anything bad about it. His last tweet was, what, four hours ago?
<laughs> Seriously, like, really? What the fuck did he say? I've tried I I've been trying to be as helpful as possible. I've been trying to I've been trying my hardest to lie. I didn't mean to get caught. <laughs> <laughs> really? Guys, we'd never send it out on purpose. Believe me, I'm not happy about it. Fixes in very shortly a notice will go out. It's launch day. This happens, unfortunately. This is Crafton's first, I think he meant IP, console game. So we are basically doing everything ourselves like a startup. I apologize. Seriously? You want me to feel sorry for you? Come on. So what if it's launch day? There was a time games couldn't be patches and were thoroughly tested and fixed before release. Just do the job correctly instead of looking for a pity party when you rush it and it backfires. There are many, many reasons games come out when they do, and it's not always so simple to, to just delay a game now. Well, no, it is actually. <laughs> you know, like, seriously, if you just need more time, just say it, you know. It's clearly a stressful time for the team, so maybe cut some slack. It's also up to you to buy it or not. Well, dude, if you've been looking to buy this game since 2019, yeah? Like, like here's the thing, M dude, yeah, that you're not really getting. I think Monster Sword is sitting here saying that he's basically bought the game. He's seen the flaws with it. He's seen how bad the game is on launch. So, saying it's up to you to buy it or not is completely fucking stupid. That is the stupidest argument or counter-argument I've ever seen to that type of argument. In all lines of work, I've been in the way I it worked... It, oh, fuck's sake. In all lines of work, I've been in the way it worked as if I fucked up my job. I fucked up my job. Yes, and there are consequences, and currently striking distance consequences are dealing with people like you who want to shit on them without understanding what goes into a game's release. Bruh, it's a fucking trade at the end of the day, is it not? <laughs> it's a trade at the end of the day. I give them my money, they give me a copy of the game. So, obviously, people are upset that the game isn't as stable as people thought it was going to be on launch. Seriously, come on. I understand they put out a product to be sold. I understand the product isn't functioning. What am I not understanding? Beats me. All I know is chances are their sales will suffer because of it. And then they will, see, they will have to see people like you shit on them for it. No one is happy about the situation. You think devs worked years for this outcome? Well, here's the deal, yeah, before I read out Glenn's reply, here's the deal. Glenn, Glenn, your attitude all of this year has been to rush, 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 and we can finally see it with the finalized product, can we not? Seriously, if you maybe didn't rush your ass off to get the game released for this due date, yeah, to beat Dead Space to the punch, essentially... Because let's uh, let's have a little uh, think about this for a second, yeah? I didn't hear anything about the Callisto Protocol. No teasers, no trailers, no nothing since 2019, yeah? Possibly early 2020. But then in 2021, as soon as Dead, the Dead Space remake is teased, then all of a sudden... The Callisto Protocol is getting trailers, is getting gameplay reveals, is getting all this. They're going fucking full out with this shit, you know? Simple as that can be, that is, those are the two main reasons I believe that they actually rushed this shit out to try and beat, you know, EA to the sales, essentially, for the Christmas 
for the Christmas uh, season, essentially. Glenn replies saying, Thank you, you're right. <laughs> of course you would say that, right? <laughs> we take pride in what we do. And it's so fortunate when things like this ha It's so unfortunate, sorry, when things like this happen. But the team has the fix in. It's not... It's... N really? It's just not a push... Fuck, say Glenn, you are terrible with this fucking grammar. It's just not push a button and it's fixed. There are some steps we have to go through. Please do not pass judgment yet. Mate, I don't pass judgment on the stability of a fucking game. I pass judgment on the poor mechanics of a game and the fact that you jump scare every... F Seriously, what is it that you once said? I will repeat this again. What is it that you once said? Making horror is like telling a joke. You can't keep telling the same joke over and over again because it gets boring. But yet you fucking feel the need to jump scare the player where whatever fucking chance you can in this game. It's boring. Seriously. None of your jump scares phase me through this entire game. None of them. Seriously. I get, like, here's the thing. I don't get scared from random jump scares anymore. I feel uneasy by the tension, by the atmosphere of the game. However, you can't have a good atmosphere or you can't have good tension and suspense when you constantly keep breaking it with jump scares. Seriously. But this is the, uh, the quote-unquote master of horror, right? I hope the patch comes fast, Glenn. Is the sound bringing the blah, blah, blah? Yeah, we already read that. I'm not passing the buck. Oh. Been watching Twitter and waiting on this patch all day, and you just keep passing the buck. Five more minutes, one more hour. I'm not mad. I have to wait. I'm mad you keep moving the goalpost on us. I'm not passing the buck. I've been on it all day trying to be as helpful as possible. I'm supposed to get an update in 10 minutes. The official email will come from our Callisto site, but I'll retweet it as well. Hmm. Go home. Let's see what he has to say about that.
little to no differences. So basically what I've wrote here is, well, it seems that the quote-unquote masters of horror missed the mark by a few miles. Atmosphere and tension was good, combat mechanics was poor, but all of the points are overshadowed by jump scares being littered around the entire game at Glen Schofield. And now I'm going to tweet out... What was, it that you, what was it that you said back in 2008, Glen? Writing horror is like telling a joke. If you tell the same joke over and over again, it gets boring. So why are there so many jump scares in the game with little to no different variations to keep things fresh? I want to see what he says to that. That's what I want to know. Glenn said it himself in the Ares Technica of Dead Space. It, he said, it was how he handed his assignment. Handled, you mean. If I was a CEO, I would have asked for feedback from the staff. Yeah, exactly. Something I would like to say, Britmate. We finally did it together. We finally made it to the end. I hated this journey, but I also loved it. We express our thanks to you for the entertainment. Thank you very much, Connor. I appreciate that. I really, dude, I really do appreciate that. My Steam. <laughs> Steam's hams. <laughs> yeah, that joke was bad. <laughs> A rushed game is bad forever. Quite frankly, the jump scares phase no one on these streams. Absolutely no one, yeah. They should have delayed the game a few months at least because 2020 was basically fucked because of COVID. Don't rush the game just to meet a deadline or to beat another to release. Yeah, exactly. So I'm guessing you don't want Glenn to set foot in Norfolk anytime soon, British. I wouldn't mind it, but to be fair, I don't really think he would want to come here. <laughs> you know? I don't think you would want to breathe the same airspace I breathe. <laughs> After my two fucking tweets calling him out on shit. Glenn, you might as well just acknowledge that it is your own undoing. Well, this ending is just a joke. I think it was 2018, not 2008. No, it wasn't 2018, Capt. It was definitely 2008. <laughs> they lack restraint. Yeah, restraint. Yeah, Norfolk, Virginia. No, Norfolk in the UK, mate. I don't live in Virginia. I have no idea what even Virginia looks like. Where do all the virgins live? <laughs> Any notifications? Nah, I didn't fucking think so. I'm not big enough to reply to, right? I'm not big enough to reply to. <laughs> Mentions. Uh, I'll probably listen to this video later on. But yeah, like... Oh, you're an asshole, dude. You're a fucking asshole. I didn't say get rid of that. I said get rid of this. You damn prick. Fuck me. I have to go to stream elements again and get the fucking thing again. Because, oh, yes, I had to fucking delete it, right? I had to delete that fucking thing. Um, Connect with YouTube. Even though I've already connected this fucking account with this thing all the time. You mean in login with YouTube? Ugh. Activity v No, I want streaming tools, my overlays. Let me just get a, uh, what do you call it? Emulate skip subscribe reference. There you go. There we go, lovely.
To be fair though, I don't really like the uh, alert overlays, so I might just go with Electro Junkies um, alert box. Let me just emulate this. Nice. Yeah, I like that better. <laughs> okay, um... Copy Euro. Okay, one second. Browser, there we go. I just need to um, do this again. gonna test it out now just to make sure it does work like say for instance uh, let's go with a super chat custom yeah oh for fuck's sake 5,000 yeah okay thanks Really? Why is it that small for? Why is it that small? Let me just... Okay, oh man, really? Properties. Why is that all the way over there for? Why is it only up? Oh my fucking god. Remove browser for fuck's sake. Okay, I'm gonna have to get the other overlay on. Get rid of it, come on. No, I don't want this one. I want the alerts. Come on, give me the alerts. Um. Let's see if this uh, works. Yeah, boy, there we go. It looks beautiful. Hell yeah. Okay. I heard the update is here now. Yeah, it. Yeah, I had to. I had to install it before I could beat the game. That really pissed me off. It sucks how good people can fall from grace. The 2020s so far have been shit. Well, so far, mate. Uh, oh, you mean the entirety of the 2020s. Okay, I thought you meant 2020. I was like, um, it's 2022, Capt. Come on. Get it together. <laughs> Don't know, but I know people can't drive for Jack. Uh, be interesting, British, if you do lore videos for this game and you, you try to be impartial... No hint of disdain in our vice as you explain what goes on in the game. You should come to Vancouver, mate. Drivers here are even worse. Your voice, British. Sorry. Hmm. In your, in your voice, yeah. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, 
I will be doing lore videos for this, but I have a burning passion to make a review that is going to be brutally fucking honest. I will be making a review for this game and it is not going to shy away from anything. It's as simple as that can be. I will be making a video basically telling it how it is. PC port got the update now. Yeah. It's probably because, like, what do you call it? You were playing the PC port. And the PC port and the Xbox port, essentially. Well, the Xbox game and the PC port and the PlayStation games, they all operate a little bit differently from each other. Like, PlayStation 3 might have let you play the game until you closed it down, and then it would tell you that you have to update the game if you want to play again. PC, same fucking difference, essentially. You know, while you're playing the game, it won't tell you to update it. Trust us, you don't want this game. I asked my dad for an Xbox Series S. I really want this game. Trust us, you don't want this game. Somebody once told me... Hmm. Okay. Well, <coughs> damn, we've been streaming for like 10 hours. It's unreal. <laughs> un freaking believable. 10 hours. But don't worry, guys. We'll be playing this game again. And we'll be going through it on the hardest difficulty this time. Because I want to I want to play through the game again. I want to try and find everything and yeah. We're gonna to attempt to find all of the logs, all of the audio files, everything tomorrow night. So we can uh what do you call it? We can beat the game. And uh yeah, if we can beat the game on the hardest difficulty then my quest will be complete. Apparently, though, there is a way of actually beating the game on the hardest difficulty without even needing to play it on the hardest difficulty. All you have to do is beat the game on the easiest difficulty, then quickly, uh, before the uh, last cutscene, uh, what do you call it? Before the last cutscene um, plays out, essentially. Before the uh, last... Well, basically, what you do is... I, if I just restart what I was saying... What you do is you basically, um, you beat the game on any difficulty, but just before you actually beat the game, you swap out the difficulty to the hardest difficulty so that you could actually, um, what do you call it? So that you can actually beat the game on the hardest difficulty, even though you technically didn't play through the entire game on the hardest difficulty. So that's where you can actually beat the game without actually beating the game on maximum security and still get the achievement for it. Which is very, very interesting because I tried this shit back on Dead Space 2. You know, like I got to the last boss fight, beat Nicole on hardcore mode, and I still didn't get the fucking achievement for it. So, yeah. <laughs> They later patched Dead Space 2 so that you couldn't actually swap over to hardcore mode. Because, what do you call it? <laughs> there really is no point of doing that anyway. Because, like, the game will just detect that you have swapped difficulties in your playthrough. The fact that you died so many times in medium difficulty, I failed to see how you can beat this at all on the hardest difficulty. Well, we'll see. We'll see if the patch has indeed, you know, fixed the game's issues. We'll see if it has. Did I get a reply on Twitter? No. Thanks for your patience, a PC patch is now available to improve gameplay stuttering issues due to shader compilation. After updating you may see temporary stuttering in the game menu the first time you launch the app. We are working on further optimizations in the days ahead. 
Yeah, well, what I've seen in this game, yeah, after beating the next difficulty, I can guarantee there will be no replayability in the game at all. The only way you would be able to get replayability in this game is if you were going to speedrun it, essentially. Which, um, I can safely say that I will not be speedrunning the game at all. I can, I can definitely tell you that. There will be no speedruns of Callisto Protocol. I just literally posted in Callista Protocol speedrunning. Finally beat the game, died so many times due to the poor AI system. Which is true, I did die quite a bit due to the poor AI system. The fact of the matter is that if you're fighting a group of enemies and you're meleeing, yeah, well, the enemy behind you may not be as honorable as the enemy in front of you and will dogpile you any fucking chance they get so they're not as honorable as the fucking necromorphs were <laughs> you know new game plus will be available in a future date fuck me they should have just made it available right now you know name can you name another game that basically says, hey, you can play a new game right now. We'll patch new game plus into the mechanic later on. Come on, seriously? Like, how hard is it to implement new game plus into the goddamn game itself? Like, I don't understand that at all. If you could do it in 2008, why can't you do it in 2022? I really don't get that. Could be a biased review though, but I'll see it. Oh, a Dead Space ripoff done worse. Hmm. I wouldn't say it's a ripoff of Dead Space. I'd say it's a pale imitation, essentially. You know, it's a pale imitation. That's funny, you could do that on Halo 1, play the game on any difficulty, then switch to legendary difficulty, then you'd get the achievement and the secret ending scene. Wow, really? Really? Fucking hell. For the record, I don't doubt your abilities, British. I'm just going by what I saw solely with this game, and even you had a tough time dealing with this. Yeah, but I'm kind of curious to see what the patch has indeedly done, essentially, if it's just stuttering for the console as well, then I guess whatever, really. We'll see about it, won't we? I never get, I never seen any game do that. I believe Assassin's Creed Vaha is still missing New Game Plus. Well, let's just be fair, Black Sheep Dreaming, yeah. Um, I can't remember the last Assassin's Creed game that had New Game Plus. <laughs> I could certainly say the first one didn't, and I believe Assassin's Creed and Assassin's... Uh, sorry, Assassin's Creed 2, like, all the way to Revelations, didn't have New Game Plus. So, I might be wrong on that, but I can't remember. <laughs> Ending was trash. It could have been done a lot better. This game isn't scary. 
I recently played Resident Evil 4. The game is both hilarious and anxiety inducing. <sighs> Resident Evil 4 is my first Resident Evil game. Nice. Apparently it's a really good game. Apparently it's really good. I haven't played it, but, you know. But literally, like, the thing is here... Glenn brought in so many innovations to Dead Space. I can't believe there aren't... Like, there are no innovations brought to this game other than the, you know, the core, essentially, being placed on the person's back of the neck. So Hive Mind is fi versus Final Boss. Which one is better? Hive Mind is a poor boss to match up to this boss, essentially. This boss, if it... If you miss one dodge, it's over. That's all I'm going to say. If you miss one dodge, Helios, it's all over. You might as well just be playing on, uh, what do you call it? What's that difficulty called on uh, Miss Evil Within? Where you can't take damage one time. <laughs> might as well just go play that instead, right? I'd like to see you play Silent Hill 2 Remake when it comes out down the road, mate. Yeah, maybe I will play that at some point. Do you think of it as a cash grab? <sighs> maybe Glenn looking to make a quick dollar before early retirement. Well, he's got a long way to go before retirement, mate. I think he's in his 40s, 50s, maybe. You know, he's got another 20 years if he's in his 50s, so, you know. You don't retire until you're 70, mate. Simple as that can be. <laughs> true, true. In Valhalla, they promised New Game Plus, and they just haven't done it yet, so it reminds me of this game's situation. Mm. I mean, how can you have a lot of replayability without New Game Plus? Akumu, that's it. But yeah, like uh, Hive Mind. Um, Hive Mind is piss easy compared to this one. Yeah, the Hive Mind bo boss battle in Dead Space is piss easy compared to the one in Callisto Protocol. In Callisto Protocol, if you miss a dodge, you're dead. It's as simple as that can be. In Dead Space, if the if the Hive Mind hits you, it doesn't fucking matter. You're still going to get up after it. It's not an insta-kill. Unless you're on low health. It's ridiculous. And I'm, you know, comparing them to on medium difficulty as well. Before anyone says, well, on impossible mode, it does even more damage. <laughs> so, like... I just don't... I don't think this game was you know like I just don't really I don't really see it I'm very disappointed though I am very disappointed in you know the game itself I'm very very disappointed in what this game has done essentially what it has tried to accomplish but I guess I should have seen um, all the quote-unquote nods to Dead Space coming, essentially, because they do the exact same thing in the Helix Station. They do the exact same thing in Helix Station. They just basically start making references to Dead Space. You kind of went with high expectations about this game. Well, yeah. Didn't everyone else have a good amount of high expectations for the game? I mean, I was sitting there thinking, wow, the person that literally made Dead Space cool, essentially, is making this game. Seriously, like, come on. Glenn Schofield is the godfather of Dead Space, essentially, yeah? And he was making this game, so yeah, obviously I had high expectations. I expected more from him. 
Sure enough, the graphics are good, like decent and all that shit. But, you know, I don't really see... I don't see the combat being good. I don't see, like, you know, the bosses being good. This game is underbalanced. And it needs to be fixed. Simple as that can be. I can't recommend this game, though. Absolutely not. It's as simple as that can be. I cannot recommend this fucking game. Not at all. My final score for this game is 5 out of 10. That's the best I can give it. It's only worth getting when its value drops to $20. Mm. Good luck on that one, mate. It's not going to be $20 so far. That's fair. I always keep my expectations low. Earlier when I was talking about the ending and didn't want to spoil it, I kept thinking of the stupid alien head, McGiff MacGuffin, and laughing about how idiotic the plot was, at least in my opinion. Dude, when the person behind it has made many good games, of course you're going to have high expectations. I wouldn't say many good games. He's made some good games. But those are just like flips of the coin, essentially. Dude, when the person behind... Oh, uh, yeah, sorry, I've already read that one. I think bosses with insta-kill moves are cheaper than Shao Kahn's shoulder charge move in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Uh, it's mostly more melee focused. I wouldn't say it's melee focused, essentially. I mean, wait until you get to a certain mini boss later on in the game, and you'll see that it's not melee focused at all. Because in those ones, if you try meleeing it, Helios, you'll die. It's as simple as that can be. You will die. I can think of a perfect game that compares to this in terms of console launches. The Order, 1886. I wouldn't know. Connor, I never played it, mate. I never saw it either. <sighs> right, I'm going to sleep. See you all later. This was a very enjoyable stream. Thank you very much, Callum. I'll see you hopefully tomorrow night, mate. I won't play it then. I'm still going to get Xbox S at least for the Dead Space remake. Go for it, mate. Do what you want, man. I'm just saying I don't recommend it. I mean, I'm I'm just saying I don't recommend buying this game. Is it better than Scorn? New Dark Descent game coming next year. Um, Is it better than Scorn? It's got more content than Scorn, I'll give it that. But is it necessarily better? Hmm, I'm going to say yes, because at least this game tried to actually be good, essentially. It tried. Scorn never fucking tried at all. Scorn, you could literally beat it in two hours. With this game, yeah, at least, you know, it took me a little while to actually get through it, regardless of how many times I died. So yeah, I would say anything is better than Scorn at this point. <clears throat> when red flags show up you do kind of lower your expectations especially starting with the crunch tweet and going quite huge with the marketing may i expected there was going to be a rush to launch essentially i have said this a lot of times i've said this a lot of times in most of my streams that I believe that they were rushing this game out to launch. And now it's kind of backfired on them, essentially. But, you know, I always, you know, I always try to keep, you know, spirits high, essentially. I try to keep my expectations high because it's like standards, essentially, Helios, yeah? Are you really going to lower your standards for anybody? Would you really lower your standards for video games just for any, you know, any any studio? Oh no, it's okay, Glenn. I'll play this piece of shit game and I'll enjoy it because I can lower my standards. Sorry, but I don't fly that way, mate.
after Dead Space Remake was announced, out of the sudden, they started to get more active after being dead silent for some time. Hmm. Yeah, that's the thing I was saying earlier. As soon as the Dead Space Remake was announced, all of a sudden, we're starting to get more Callisto Protocol. So, I don't really necessarily think it was... EA kind of being like, oh my god, Callisto Protocol's coming out soon, we need to make, we need, we need competition, we need competition. No, no, they weren't at all. Personally, they were probably on the same foot as all of us were, essentially, waiting for more news with the Callisto Protocol, thinking it's going to be a really fucking good game. And they probably didn't know, they probably knew as much as we did at that time, you know? That's probably what they knew, essentially. Basically, The Order is a PlayStation 4 exclusive. That's probably why I never fucking played it. <laughs> Looked incredible graphically, but had shit combat and was a very short story. It was a polished herd, essentially. Wow. Scorn was boring. Yeah, Scorn was boring. Schofield got petty and it cost him his reputation. A well-deserved downfall, if you ask me. Hmm... I wouldn't say it's a well-deserved downfall. I still like Glenn Schofield. I just feel like things could have been better, essentially. You know what I mean? I don't want to be petty towards another... I don't want to be petty towards someone that I've actually, you know, liked since Dead Space, essentially. And probably enjoyed some of his works, essentially. But, you know, when there's something that needs to be fucking called out, you know... I feel like you have a responsibility to call that shit out, you know? If you feel like something has unjustly been made, essentially, then surely you should want to call this out. I thought this game would be beautiful. Oh, the game is beautiful, if you can see from the graphics right now. The game is stunning to look at. However, as I said before, if I wanted to look at this game, then just give me some slides of... Uh, concept art it's not so much I wanted to just simply look at the scenery I want to you know play through the game itself you know I want to understand the story I want to get through the lore I want to kill some enemies you know what I mean simple as that can be but it's not all just about the beauty I would have rather liked a flawed game than a game that can't function properly Unfortunately, Spiral, we got both in the same package. This game is flawed. It wants to be Dead Space. It wants to be the evil within. It wants to be Resident Evil. Unfortunately, it's confused on what it really wants. So, it's basically like that. It's not that he doesn't deserve what happened it's he mismanaged it poorly and should have known better and can only blame himself and no one else mm. I don't know if I entirely entirely agree with that but you know oh yeah he gave us dead space but he wasn't the only person that gave us dead space city hunter let's just be real there was other people and from what I've seen, there's only two people from the original EA Redwood Shores studio that actually worked on this project, and that being Glenn Schofield, Glenn, no, Schofield, uh, Glenn Schofield, and uh, Steve Papoutsis. You know, Papoutsis. It sounds like I'm fucking talking in a Turkish accent, then. Steve Papoutsis. Papoutsis. <laughs> but yeah, it's literally, those are literally the only two names I've seen at this point. But, you know, I feel like Dead Space 1 actually beats this game by a mile. Other people would say that it's not a fair comparison, but, I mean, come on. It's the most fair comparison you could possibly make. 2008 games have beaten this year's games, no doubt. It's not even a, it's not even a question. I mean, hell, 
you can see from the corruption lingering on the wall, essentially, that they wanted this game to be a new Dead Space. Let's just be fair. Ah, oh, random fact. Papoutsis means shoemaker in Greek. That's interesting, because I said to... I literally said in the Dead Space 2 multiplayer stream that I did, I literally shouted to... I literally, I literally shouted to, um, what is it, Steve Papoutsis? Yeah, I think, it, I think it's Steve, isn't it? Is that his name, Steve? Oh, I can't remember. But, like, you know, I literally said that he should go and be a shoemaker, because at least he couldn't fuck that up, right? So, the fact that Papoutsis actually means shoemaker in Greek, fuck me, I, got, I hit that on the nail with that one, didn't I? Jesus. That's like when you try to say, it's a me, Mario, in an Italian accent. <laughs> it's a me, Mario. <laughs> How is that not a fair comparison? It is a, you know, 20, 2008 games compared to 2022 games. I'd say it wouldn't be a fair comparison, but Dead Space literally beats this game. You know. In every sense of it. <laughs> Anyone who worked on Dead Space earned my respect. Yeah, exactly. That's why I mean when I have a high expectation for Glenn. He has my he has my attention. He has my respect, essentially. But unfortunately, due to this messy game that he has released, that they rushed out, essentially, it's kind of my confidence in him is kind of shaken at this point. You know? But I'm just waiting for him to reply to my tweet. Guarantee he doesn't, because he'll probably look at it and go, Pfft, this guy hasn't even got a thousand followers on Twitter. Ho 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 ho. And as we like, it's not about how many followers you got, mate. It's about how you use them. Simple as that can be. <laughs> I mean, at least I'm, at least I don't make a, you know, a poor combat system and then start telling people not to get fucking antsy with you. Let's have a look. Oh, come off it, you, you asshole. Come on, I just wanted to go on this. Thank you. All right, so let's see if he has been saying anything else on Twitter, right? I wanna see this shit. Oh, you want to turn off TV? Yeah, sure enough, you've earned a break. Hang on a minute, what the fuck is this? Frank says, flawless on console, Xbox Series X is missing half the rooster tea features or RT features and has big performance issues along with a good helping of bugs. Another review embargo, Cyberpunk launch. Glenn replies to this saying, it sounds like you didn't download the patch. What patch? There wasn't a fucking patch until only, only like what, two hours ago? Seriously, take the time to do it. I've read a few reviewers who said they didn't. The team spent three years making this game. Please download it. It hurts so many developers and their families by perpetrate. By perpetrate. Oh, fuck sake, perpetrate. Oh my god, I can't say that word. By spreading bad info. Thanks. I'm sorry, Glenn, but that's a bit of a coward's tool right there, bringing up developers and their families, right? That's a bit cowardly. 
It hurts so many developers and their families by spreading bad info. It's like, fuck off. Fuck off. Glenn, you should know you yeah, that all publicity is good publicity at this end of the day, but still, like... So, if you were to review a video game, Glenn, and it came out looking like an absolute pile of trash, essentially, you would just sit there with your thumb up there, your ass and not even bother to fucking raise a few questions, right? Right? You're sitting here hiding behind that fucking statement... It hurts so many developers and their families by spreading bad info. No, you mean it hurts so many developers and their families by sp spreading bad reviews. Well, I'm sorry, mate, but maybe you should have made a better fucking video game then, shouldn't you? you? Fucking immature twat. Seriously, I'm sorry, but that is, that is a bullshit statement. I want to see what other people reply to that shit. Oh, of course, people feel over entitled today. Fuck off. Oh, by the way, Glenn's uh, Glenn's tweet essentially, yeah, about the uh, what do you call it, the games patch, yeah. That was like uh, four hours. Pr that was two hours prior to the release of the update. <laughs> but yeah, he's telling people to uh, what do you call it? Download the patch. It's like or the update. It's like, bruh, seriously, seriously? Are you fucking real? Are you just fucking with us now? <laughs> Yeah, that is a bit of a low fucking thing. We can't see what you're reading, British. Sorry. Oh, uh, sorry. I'll bring it back up. I thought, oh, yeah, you might want to just look at the menu, but... Okay. No, not browser. I don't want browser. I want window capture, please. Yep. Uh, don't do that. Window capture. Filters. Aspect ratio. Oh, my dog is wait. The dog has woken up, crying for dad to take her for a walk. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that in the background. But yeah, like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, you're gonna go follow me on Twitter. <laughs> Not only this, this one, but the first Bioshock game beats this game. <laughs> yeah. This is so much like when Bethesda released the infamous Fallout 76. We had such high praise for them, but then it was shaken to the core after classics like Skyrim and Fallout 3. Yeah. We had Todd Howard come out with such utter crap. I would have liked a different cosmic horror that involved fallen angels or something in this game than a virus outbreak. 16 times the detail. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? Like, you know, constantly just giving us outbreak, 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 outbreak. Like, it's been done before, you know what I mean? Like, seriously, come on. Like, give us something different. I mean, how I would say to Glenn, yeah, look at the 1960 version of... Or actually, no, just look at... Look at from 1963 all the way to the 1990s of what Doctor Who was, essentially. Because if you listen to the soundtrack of, uh, you know, the classic era of Doctor Who... A lot of their themes are very creepy and some of them are very sinister sort of thing. So maybe take that as inspiration for your video game essentially. Because that, that would be kind of cool to see, you know, like a horror version 
shut the fuck up, you stupid dog. <laughs> but like a horror version of maybe the Cybermen, that would have been cool, you know? He lost my respect when he confirmed he's overworking his employees for his for this game to come out before the remake and in this state I get it that he gave us dead space but he wasn't the only dev there. Just work it just works. I know that's why I said I respect them all. I didn't know about that. I can't see what you're reading. Oh my god, he literally used his employees as anti-criticism, as an anti-criticism shield. That's low. Yeah, that is low. It's a nice menu. <laughs> the poor devs and their families, Glenn says, while well, crunching them with seven days per week, 15 hour work days. Exactly, yeah, that's kind of insane, isn't it? At this point, Glenn, I would have just turned off the notifications. <laughs> you know, like, I would have just turned off the notifications at this point. Like, seriously, I would have just turned off notifications on Twitter and I would have just got on with my day, essentially. That's how I would have handled it if it was to happen to me like so many other developers do but no glenn needs glenn needs the praise right he needs the praise <laughs> oh now it's a a wrong file was patched no no glenn not a wrong file being patched that is just not acceptable at all a wrong file was patched do you, do you guys believe that shit? <laughs> Michael Squire says you better push him on the performance. Glenn just replies, Dude, a damn clerical error on that. Just about fixed. Probably isn't. Probably is, but not sure. A lot going on here. So it's like, bro, why are you having to go at your fans for? Seriously, they're just as frustrated as you are. I'm sure. Fucking hell, Dad, hurry up and take the dog out for a walk. Jesus Christ. Sounds like I'm fucking neglecting her. fucking hell she has to be a noisy little cow she does she's a noisy little cow <sighs> greed it's been done so many times it gets tiring it just works what I don't think what that Glenn was ready for this <laughs> this isn't just this isn't going to, this isn't going how he intended no not at all. He wasn't... He thought people would praise him again. Yeah, that's the thing. That, that Everyone just thinks that they're just going to get praised, essentially. Keep on getting praised and praised and praised. You know. Yeah, I know, but having a digital PlayStation 5 that I can't buy physical editions, publishers should be aware of that and stop this practicing of staggered launches based on time zones, especially for digital pre-orders, even the reviews don't go up until launch day, which to me is pretty shady. It's not the developers and it's not the shippers. They ship when they get the goods. It's supposed to be under lock and key at the retailers until ship date, but even then it could be some innocent stock person who just stocks the shelves. I'd like to believe it's not on purpose. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I did see that kind of bullshit. 5 a.m. for the UK, midnight for the US. 
That was complete bullshit, Glenn. Like, seriously. I don't know what the fuck he's referencing here, to be fair. I have no idea what he's referencing. Like, what's he replying to, essentially? I like how the person says, thanks for that, publisher. Doesn't blame the developers or the shippers at all. But Glenn's like, it's not the developers and it's not the shippers. They ship when they get the goods. Seriously, do you think we're retards, Glenn? Do you think we're stupid? I know how this shit works. They probably know how this shit works. Fuck me. <laughs> hey, Glenn Trophy, I'm just wondering if you've seen the lead's gameplay on YouTube. Yeah, it sucks. People think they're clever and slick to do something like that, but it's so disappointing to the team and spoils it for others. Hopefully true fans will ignore it and play the game the way it was meant to be played. Well, I didn't watch it, but I wouldn't consider myself to be a true fan. Not anymore, anyway. As a lifelong Resident Evil fan, I think they're all doing great. Can't wait to play on Friday. I was at Capcom when the first Resident Evil came out. It was called Biohazard in Japan. They had a contest in our US studio to come up with a name only. Okay, he's just reminiscing now. What the fuck? I'm very surprised you're not sought damages against IGN for the false information they broadcasted to the worldwide audience. What, what fucking, um, what false information? I don't, I don't get that at all. Uh, ba 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 ba. Okay, I think we're starting to see um, some, like, what do you call it? I think I think we're starting to see some truth to the previous statement. Not playing a game that paywalls deaf animations. Video game greed is getting out of hand. Dude, that rumor was wrong. We would never do that. We shipped everything we created. IGN already changed their headline two days ago. Seriously, am I going to have to make a fucking video just to tell people the, you know, something that should be, what do you call it? Something that should be, what is it? Obvious. This is something that should be obvious, yeah? When Glenn says that, oh yeah, we'll be making new death animations for the DLC, they don't literally, he doesn't literally mean he's going to be, you know, He's going to be selling death animations as like a cosmetic DLC. You know, I, I don't think he would, essentially. And it doesn't mean that at all. What it means is, in the new DLC stories, there will be new death animations coming from maybe pre-existing enemies or new enemies. New concepts. But fuck me, some people are just hungry for views that they will just spread this bullshit essentially IGN first talked about the paywall death animations I believe that's what they were talking about yeah oh do they have a name oh uh, yeah name's Ellie <laughs> funnily enough my dog's name is Ellie <laughs> Ellie <laughs> Poor doggy. <laughs> wow. Seriously, yeah, anyone who says true fans, 
Fuck me, your ego must be the size of Seattle. I mean, seriously, come on. No, 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 sorry. Your ego must be the size of the fucking entire planet. True fans, fuck off. Not even I say that. <laughs> seriously, true fans? Fuck off, I played... I played Dead Space 1, 2, and 3, yeah? I think I'm a, you know... I wouldn't say true fan, because I didn't like every single thing that you fucking worked on, Glenn. You know, that's the whole thing, Glenn, isn't it? You sit there and say true fans, yeah, but... If I don't like one specific fucking thing you've done in your entire career, does that mean that I'm not a true fan? Because if that does, then you're just as pathetic as ever. You know, you're more pathetic than fucking Activision at this point if you're going to make that argument. Because I've done nothing but fucking supported you on every single fucking endeavor you've ever fucking been a part of since Dead Space. Yeah? But I guess I'm not really a true fan, right? Because I didn't like Callisto Protocol, right? Because I can call it out on its bullshit, right? So go fuck yourself. Simple as that can be. If that's what you think, go fuck yourself. You know, I'm real, essentially. And as being real, essentially, I will tell the full story. Simple as that can be. I will tell the full story. I will tell nothing but the full story. If you ever try and say true fans in any argument, you're setting yourself up for trouble. <laughs> I know people don't like Harbour, but I I like him compared to that scumbag that sold Isaac out sold out Isaac because he didn't like him. What scumbag? Huh? Oh, you mean Norton? Okay, I, I get, I'm guessing Norton then. He was such a pain in the ass. Um, like, basically, with me personally, I will call shit out if I feel like it needs to be called out. You know? It's as simple as that can be. You don't need to be an asshole to your fans, essentially calling them not real fans essentially because they publicly disagree with you on certain fucking things they're giving you criticism you dumb shit fuck me I just would have thought you know the master of fucking horror you know would be a little bit more respectful to his Fans, the people that paid money for this shit, only for it to, you know, not play out. Essentially. And yeah, the reviewers essentially will play the game pre-patch to see what it's like. Because they want to see it before the main patch goes out. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head off now, guys, because I don't want to keep on going on and on and on. We'll continue this tomorrow night. And I'll see if Glenn actually replies to my tweets and all that stuff. Let's be fair, he probably won't because he's full of himself. You know what I mean? Like, personally, I would have just turned off the notifications as soon as the release came out and dealt with them later, you know? I would never have fucking, like, exposed myself to the onslaught of the fans' attack, you know? Absolute spot on British true fans are those who call it as they see it, who relay exactly what they experience in the most accurate manner possible. He's confusing true fans with fanboys. True fans aren't above criticizing what you do, whereas fanboys only see you as a god. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But yeah, like, seriously, I don't know what the fuck has gotten into his head lately, to be fair. Um... Obviously, he's frustrated because... He's probably not frustrated because the game doesn't fucking work properly. He's probably more frustrated because it's not going to fucking sell well. Simple as that can be. That's what, That's how I see it right now. This is a guy that's probably... He's tired. You know what I mean, guys? He's tired. So, he should... 
you know, pack it up if he's that tired, you know? He should be sent to bed, essentially. <laughs> or if he's gonna come back hungry and ready for fucking more. Fucking, you know, patch your game with the gameplay this time, yeah? Obviously, PC takes precedent over the, you know, the gameplay. Because of how bad the fucking choppiness was. Which I'm now going to go watch what capped, um, like, uh, what do you call it, sent to me, essentially. I'm going to watch that right now from um, Shwelan's review. But yeah, even if a person is doing a pre-patch re review sort of thing, they're doing it to kind of warn people that maybe the game isn't going to perform like they all think it is. So, you know, as a reviewer, you have a certain responsibility to the public to re review something and then to release your review as soon as possible so that people don't waste their money. But I guess, uh, you know, the quote-unquote master of horror doesn't understand that shit. But, you know, he, he must only surround himself with like-minded fucking people, right? And if you're watching this, Glenn, I'm sorry, dude, but that is criticism at the end of the day. But, you know, go ahead and surround yourselves with your true fans, because let's be fair, mate, they will never question a fucking thing that you do. Simple as that can be. And I know that for one thing, that gets fucking boring ridiculously fast. But anyway, guys, thank you all very much for watching and joining me on this horrific journey. Horrific as in, you know terrible but like <laughs> if you guys did enjoy appreciate it. hit a like on the stream comment something down below and let me know what you thought about it, what your favorite part was and time stamp it so i can see which what you were talking about and all that stuff by the way after reacting to it will you take your dog for a walk i'm just worried because i heard it crying my dad's taking her for a walk he always takes her for the walk essentially i've tried taking my dog for a walk before but she never wants to fucking go so she only goes out with my dad. So, yeah. So, no need to worry about that, Capt. But, like, um... Like, uh, yeah. Like, if you guys did, uh... If you guys really enjoyed, I would appreciate hit that subscribe button to uh, sign up to join the British Alliance today. And I just did that backwards, but whatever, really. And make sure to ring in the notification bell so you're always notified whenever a new video or stream goes up. And I'll see all of you beautiful people among the cosmos. And if you guys would like to become a member, be sure to hit that membership join button today so you can see what tiers are for you. And uh, yeah, be sure to have a good one. This outro was like all over the place, much like the combat system in Callisto Protocol.